The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. We're not doing that. You, you a man that represents. We're like, not doing that. You want you're the lightest one on the board. I'm saying. All right, all right. I'm going. All right, Yo, bright. chill out. Well, all right, bright eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being bright. I ain't gonna lie. The, the women. Can I say this? Go on, say this. Right the women love him, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, he like a JC Penny model from the 80s, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the stupid nigga with the scarf. Hello. Uh, uh, Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> they love that. They gonna lie. I be reading the comments. They on your body. I be hating low key. Like, this corny ass. It's not low key. <laughs> but it's not low key. It's the highest of keys. <laughs> Joe, he fire. We got a whole Patreon of you hating. <laughs> when you brought it up at the hookah spot, I was like, oh shit, this, this sat in his soul. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay, welcome. Back welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah. Save that. How do I want to start? Everybody feeling good? Yes, yes, great. I'm switching shit up for 2023, man. That's how you got to do it. switching shit up. See, just that fast. Hey, for the YouTube viewership out there, I'm trying. Let me close my laptop. We're going to have some fun today. <laughs> hey, for the YouTube viewership, We've done some seat rearranging. Mm. <laughs> Y'all gonna say it's cause I'm a hater. You can't don't jump out in front of the hate first. Uh, don't even that's hate. Jumping in front of the hate is hate? Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. Uh, hating on the hate. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Cause I know what they're gonna say. I've been reading YouTube comments since 05. <laughs> they're gonna say I hate it. I have to decide whether I wanna be a mature, responsible executive and businessman or tell them the truth. <laughs> oh, the, truth is always, the truth is always so messy <laughs> But even if I keep the truth to myself YouTubers out there Flip, instead of being over there Because he's wide a little bit still <laughs> We put him in the middle that, that was hate And for yeah, some yeah. reason we'll Ish has looked sad ever since. <laughs> <laughs> He don't even notice it so, I'm just giving y'all that as a sub storyline that you can watch as I intro the show. <laughs> Ish, turn that frown upside down, buddy. Huh? Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> I don't know what you're yeah, saying. man, <laughs> huh? I'm remotely talking. This is Yo, all right, bro. <laughs> 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 welcome, welcome. Yo, you and Ian gotta be stopped, yo. Oh Y'all gotta be stopped. Oh <laughs> There's a longer one. I'm sure. You know we made I'm the extendo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the deluxe version. What do you oh, think? Oh, man. JBP, oh, I love that JBP, one. JBP, where would you be without the JBP? <laughs> all right, fuck y'all. <laughs> yeah, y'all gotta strike a pole. All right, man. come on. <laughs> yeah, they... Yo, come Ish, on. come on. Yo, play, play along with us in 2023. <laughs> enough, of what, enough of what Bank of America has done. <laughs> come on, play along. Have a little bit of fun with us. Come on. Man, come on. No? All right. An iPod. A phone. And an internet communicator. That's how you know we get no an iPod. The throwback clips you was a grown phone. for. Are you getting it? <laughs> Happy you anniversary to the iPhone. Game three changer. separate devices. Game Look, device. change. Niggas was hype. I was. I was dead. And we are calling it iPhone. All right, man, mic check. Y'all know what the fuck time it is. Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what I'm here to do. A lot of podcasters have came and went. I'm coming up on an eight-year anniversary, February 15th. We've gone through a lot. We've seen it all. We've done it all. A lot of new faces, some old faces. And shout out to the ladies, just cuz. <laughs> shout out to the ladies out there. Mic check. 
We're going to start this with probably the greatest songwriter of my time, maybe of all time. Some of y'all wasn't outside. Let's get the mood right. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, go ahead and get your wine ready. Light it up. Text your girl so she can leave you alone for the next two hours. Hey, <laughs> come on, man. Flip, just catch a vibe with me. Catch a vibe. Shout out to the first and last time <laughs> listeners out there. We grown and sexy. Remember that phase in hip hop? We're doing it for the grown and sexy. I think I started a song like that. Hey, we got Flip in the building. We got Melissa Ford in the building. Let me hear you. Flip, you I'm glad you're here. You don't know the song? Do. Don't y'all step yeah. on my beautiful intro with y'all nonsense. When the music stops, I got y'all. I got y'all. Just jam out. Just catch a vibe. Make sure your cuticles is right. Make sure your bull's hat, flip hat, the limp brush out. <laughs> Yo, you spit, on, you spit on my couch. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Only Hey, all the queens out there, if you're listening, flip was searching frantically for a limp brush. He was. Come on, man. Come on, Damn, man. Jamming, Come son. on, man. Come on, man. Double the applause up. Let me get these drops out the way. Get these drops out the way right quick. So they know who's in the building. All right. All right. Microphone check. One, two. What episode is this? 592. Welcome to episode 592 of the Joe Budden Podcast. Wow, I'm your cool. humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Uh, Ish is here, Ice is here, Parks is here, Flip is here, the beautiful Melissa Ford is here, What's JR is here, Ian is here in the back, Keeb is here, Erickson is here, Corey is here. Where's Pope? Pope? Poe's not here yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. what y'all think? Because it's crowded in here. I don't see what the fuck going on with Poe at. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Cool. Ted yeah. is here. All right, but where's Poe? That's a good question. <laughs> it's quiet back there now. Anyway, what's up? How's everybody doing? How you feeling? Shout out to the first and last time listeners. Shout out to wherever you may be listening or watching from. Shout out to the new people. Shout out to the old people. Shout out to everyone. Uh, peace, health, wealth, and prosperity to all. Mm -hmm. Now, I just want to say I'm happy Flip is here. Because now I don't feel bad because I knew those songs. I'm not that guy no more. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank I'm, you. I'm, yeah. Because I'm watching you like, yo, what's that? I'm like, yes. You don't know nothing if it ain't Nas, huh? Thank you for Shit. saying that. No, nah, I'm just happy. All you know is Queen Get songs. It off me. You guys doing good though. You guys been shouting me out and welcoming me. You know, I appreciate that. You've been doing good because if you wasn't, you got to violate. It's, it's smoke, especially for him. <laughs> Can you say something good about me too? <laughs> It's right. <laughs> Library is, is foolish. What's wrong bro? with you? All right. Bro. He threw me with the old encyclopedias. Uh, right. How's everyone doing? How y'all feeling? Pretty Amazing. good. Pretty good. Feeling great. Mm -hmm. feeling good. Good. Great. Y'all ready to pod? Yep. Yeah. Of course. Absolutely. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, before we get started, uh, uh, I feel like Queens Flip. You know, you've been you've done a phenomenal job after that first appearance. That was really bad. Facts. You've been doing really good. I'm proud of you. We've been at the steak restaurant, chopping and building, right? <laughs> Uh, you, you've been ordering French fries, making me look stupid at the steak restaurant. Making Still, me, yeah, making me look stupid. Steak right, fries, he, at least he, he, he'll get there. No. He'll get there. Of course, get to it. Shoestrings, the steak restaurant. But That's sick. flip <laughs> one of the one of the values that you bring is you have been a nonstop uh, promoter and marketer of this broadcast. No matter what these people out there say about you, you have been a polarizing force. Just a triple shot of rum. And I appreciate you for that. And I was ready to come in here and award you as the best promoter that this pod has probably ever seen. Mm. Until. Then what happened? <laughs> Until Melissa Ford left her Pilates class. <laughs> <laughs> Until M. Ford got out of yoga class. And you know how when dudes finish watching Rocky or something, they might feel like they could take a fight? Yeah. Mm. M. Ford left that yoga class and got on that phone, uploaded a little something, from the from the fouls, I'm sure, because she wasn't at a beach. Mm -hmm. Mm. From the fouls, mm -hmm. oh. with the episode title "Butt Floss" as the yes. caption, and yeah, that was fire. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, she was dressed like that then. It bugged me out, but it was fire. Uh, she went crazy. She got wow. it. I think she might have beat you, man. She did. Round of applause for Emma. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now I get you it. Know you know now I get it. it. That's a good cheat code, though. It's, 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 nobody's really mad at me for cheating. Absolutely you know? not. No, no, no. Never. Me. Always want to yeah. see some 80s ass. Yeah. That, <laughs> 70s. <laughs> 70s. <laughs> Yo. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> like 1980s, like, as in, as in real? As in real? Ah, uh, uh, talk your talk. Uh -oh. just, talk your talk, M4. Because you, you see when I grab my own, my own butt cheeks, and you, see, you see that jiggle? I've seen it. No, that's I've seen, that's well, what, yeah. I'm give you a show now. Yeah, 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 I, I, I saw that. the beach in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck out of here. I didn't see it. All right, so everybody's good. Everybody's grateful and gracious. Good. So <laughs> let's get back to it. Where do we want to start? Do we start with the fight? Uh -huh. Do we start with the fight? Let's start yeah. with the fight. Start the with the fight. fight. Uh, and, and the fight at the fight. The, all of the fights. All the fights. So now, what, what happened? Can I say something to you? Um, you didn't make the announcement, and I, it, it bothered me. You didn't make the announcement to the people. I don't like that. About me, I'm on board, and I think you need to do it properly. <laughs> I think you need to do it properly. Before we start, I think you need to do it properly, because I am Queen's Flip, and I he think you need to make the announcement that you have decided to, to give a proper opportunity, and that's what our meeting was about. I'll wait. This nigga, gonna, this nigga gonna milk a platform, guy. This nigga will milk... <laughs> Do I have to do that right now? No, I'm just saying, don't, just don't forget, please. Right, yeah, I got just you. Introduce me properly. Hour number four. We can <laughs> Hour number seven. I got you. Let me do it. Um, so fight. the fight. Yeah, the, the fight. fight at the fight. Uh, I forgot about the fight till Ish called me and told me, somebody called me and told me Corey was in D.C. for the fight. Mm. And that just reminded me that there was a drug dealer convention going on in D.C. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. what fights are for. Yeah. Like, no, stop. I ain't going to let you do that. That is. Cool. But... There's different drug dealers. And this is a Gervonta Davis fight, which brought out, this ain't the Floyd fight. Right. Respectfully, of mm. course. I know what you mean. Floyd. This ain't Tyson. This is DC, Baltimore. Late start, Baltimore, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mar Maryland. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is that. This is, you know, day brunch after. This is furs. And fight started at one o'clock in the morning. My favorite part about it. I never want to watch a fight that starts at one o'clock in the morning, but I was up in my bed because I had just took a nap. No, nah, but the undercards were lit. They started earlier than that. Mm -hmm. I, I caught the fight before the fight, and okay. that fight was on at midnight. Yeah, it was. So yeah. everybody was hoping that that fight ended earlier. Right. So you can but God had a surprise. Mm -hmm. That dude ran around the whole fight. Yeah, he mm -hmm. sure did. Mm -hmm. You wasn't about to knock him out. Yeah, he was. He, nope. was, he was a little dodging weaver. Oh yeah, he ran the whole time. Yeah. So went the distance. No, the Ukraine president Ukrainian called him. Dude. Yeah, they called him. Told him, you better not fall. Yeah. And he did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because he was Ukrainian, right? He's Ukrainian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so oh, so you see what's going on like, out the here. pride of his yeah, country. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, so he couldn't get knocked out. He couldn't nah. get knocked out. He couldn't throw a punch either, but his defense was spectacular. Spectacular. He couldn't go back home. Oh, seven bears. No offense. I don't know about that, but I'm hyping you. Oh, yeah. You know what you're talking about. Just hype him up. It's fine. Uh, and then the All fight defense, came no out. Javante no uh, Gervonta, uh, came out. Uh, I don't know. What did y'all think of this Knocked shit? the vision out of him. Put him out. <laughs> Yo. Niggas, I can't see. Uh, yeah. That was actually a good-ass fight until that happened, though. It was. He was said, I'm not even boy getting was, up. I'm cool. Stop, rap, rap. He beat my ass. No, I'm not, I'm not going no, hold on. No, nah, it was a good fight. No, 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 homie. He wasn't beating his ass. Yeah, fam, you hit me so hard, I can't see you beating my I ass. I hate when niggas like you had. That didn't happen to like round yeah. six. I don't seven, care when the seven, fuck something. it happened. You hit me so hard, I can't it see no more. It doesn't matter. He was whooping. He was doing Dude, his thing against him. Yo, bro. do you know that that happens in fights? Yeah. 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 You might get hit to where you can't see, see. the best no more. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to fight no more. Yeah. That's me. No, no. Lucky I'm cool. for you, that's a boxing ring. In the street, when that happens, you got. I'm talking about the boxing match, though. You got to dance. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the boxing match. match. I'm only talking about the nah, boxing match, man. I was, I was mad. I was mad he did that shit at that point. At that point, I leave the house. I ain't getting in the strip club till 2.45 anyway. The whole the fight is over. <laughs> so hey, long. nigga, get back out there and do a little dancing. <laughs> still, I still got dressing left, though. We know. I, you know, <laughs> no, no, we, we know. know. Found a way. New York was lit. Lit. Oh, fight New York was lit. Yeah. I don't usually like to go out on fight nights, because that's the night where some bullshit happens, usually. But you, Central? Huh? I, I can't see you getting no shit. Come no, on, I'm stop. just saying you go to the bar. People are hyped from watching the fight. Now everybody want to fight. And you're like, come on. It's a fact. All right. Way to go, Rocco. 
It's the white people shit. <laughs> no, no, no. But hold on. When they fighting balls, I've never heard that personally. Hold on. White people fights and black people fights and balls is two different things. That's a fact. Yeah, the big yeah, guys yeah. like destroying balls and throwing shit. No, white people time. be jump kicking and all that. Nah, shit. but they, they be destroying. The, you guys like to attack the bar itself. We don't do that. We fight each other until outside with the ball. To, but then we get done and we like go out and smoke cigarettes together and shit. Like, uh, yeah. It should be weird. We it's, weird. That, it's weird. It's weird. It's a weird culture. I don't know what to tell you. Mm. Did y'all enjoy the fight? I'm just ready to get to my strip club analysis <laughs> at this point. I'm just saying, what do you think about the fight? I thought it was I, great. Because you, like you like to put it on people and then, not, what do you think about the fight? I thought he did what he was supposed to do. Who? In there. Javante. What about the other guy? No, talk about the other guy. I don't give a fuck about the other guy. Exactly. Yeah, I don't give two fucks about him. You're biased like me. I don't care about that guy. Goss, I'm telling you the truth. Goss, you tell it to your I don't friend. Care. I don't care. I'm never yeah, going to say his care. name. I'm never gonna say that guy's name. I don't even know here. I'm reporting him as that of the other Dog, guy. That nigga could walk down the street tomorrow. I wouldn't know who he was. What's wrong with you niggas, bro? <laughs> That's sad. Like, what's wrong? I, 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 I got, he fought uh, a good fight until he did. Exactly. It. Yeah. CP, come on. What's wrong with you niggas? Niggas forgot all about that fucking police call that happened with Javante a few days before. Huh? All you gotta do oh. is sell out. All you gotta do is sell out twenty thousand tickets. <laughs> have hands made of metal. Be the fastest guy in town. <laughs> Blind someone. Niggas forget all about that that nine one one call. But, but can we give? And we thought that was phony. That call anyway. Ah, uh, exactly. We did think that. that I did call not was believe phony. that for a second. That, that, that call was phony. That yeah. Was. But can we give Javante credit for you know overcoming the odds? Be more careful, Baltimore. That wonderful city. Um, that you know breed beautiful people. But you know he came out of it and he he makes a name for himself and he does a pretty good job. You have to give it to him, regardless of what it is, man. He is not a product of his environment, in a way. Okay. <laughs> he's not a product of his environment. He's not a product. He's not a product of his. He's not a product of his environment in a way. In what way? Meaning that he didn't succumb to all the negativity mm. that happened in Baltimore, to the gang violence, to all the stuff that's going on, to the killing. He chose a different route, which is boxing, and he's and he excelled at it. So when I say he didn't become a product of his environment, meaning a lot of people. I don't want to be rude, but, you know, from certain cities, you know, it's just one way that they go. So that's what I said. That's you talking about niggas in Baltimore? Mm, nah, I'm just about niggas all over. Nah, I shout out to Baltimore. Shout out to Baltimore. <laughs> Them niggas, they'll <laughs> jump me under the bridge. You try to get me killed under the bridge. <laughs> they don't play in Baltimore, <laughs> boy. No, they don't. They don't play. Just didn't watch your commentary. Shout out to Baltimore. I thought he did what he was supposed to do. I'm waiting for the Ryan, the Ryan Garcia fight. That's mm, what I'm waiting for. Can we go there? That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. I'm gonna beat that one too. That's the one. Yeah, but I still want to see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a little boy in North that's saying, got a little bit something to say. Okay, but wait, can I just ask a question? Was Facts. that the first time ever that a fight that happened outside of the ring stopped the fight yeah. in the ring? That's the first, That's the first time, time I've ever seen it. I've never, seen that, I've never seen that before ever. And not like I'm an avid boxing fan, but I've never seen that before. And I was just like, what was your first thought? Because I was like, I want to know who was fighting. That was my first thought. Anywhere. Mine? You, you want. To know. You don't know my first thought? Yeah, real first thought. Niggas. Niggas yeah, gonna nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, you what my first thought was. Hmm? Niggas gonna nigga. Yeah. Really? really? This is what we doing? Listen, no, that's, that's the truth. Self-hate. Yeah, self-hate. That's exactly what I thought. But, shame, shame, but what shame. did it end up being? Is? Or accountability. What? what did it end up being? Nigga. What? But, but, I'm what? just saying, was it us? Mm. I ain't even looking at us. us. No, I'm, us I'm just. I'm no, I'm just saying. saying we talking about the fight outside that of the fight. That is shit. Oh, now you, un <laughs> now you unlocked it. I hate when y'all two. All right. All right, come on. All right, come on. <laughs> Why you think it's nigga shit? Like what happened? Why? You serious or you joking? I I feel like self hate is at an all time high over here. Or just accountability. Accountability for what? For people doing dumb shit. Okay. Yo, you got, <clears throat> excuse me, pardon me. You no, got multimillionaires on the side of the ring <laughs> having, an altercation, having an altercation while one of the biggest uh, sporting events to come to D.C. in I don't know how many years. So I think that there was one multimillionaire, and I think that the guy was up-and-coming boxer, or he's a boxer, so I don't mm -hmm. think he's he was He's not up-and-coming, he's established. All right, shout-out to him, shout-out to him, shout-out to the homie. But you said multimillionaire, so is he a millionaire? Yes, Flip. I Keep going. They're millionaires, dear. Yeah, keep going. They're millionaires. But that's not the two people that got involved. Yes, it is. Yes, okay, it is. all right. I yes, it is. It. And the, they'd be carrying on like that okay. in the middle of a, 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 a uh -huh. sporting event that's on pay-per-view. Looks stupid. Okay. I agree. Can I talk from my perspective at home in my bedroom watching? Sure. I was very excited that they did that. I was couldn't be happier. I thought, <laughs> fuck it. I paused getting dressed. I stood and, you know, you know my dresser is right by my TV. I got to the dresser and stood there. <laughs> 
I was like, oh shit. Wait, so then I walked back. I went to turn all the lights on. I looked back. I said, nigga, is that Wallo? <laughs> I said the same no. shit. Yo, I think everybody had the same shit. I said, hey, yeah. so, hey I, that nigga look like Walla. Is that stack? Is Walla standing up on the chair? <laughs> no but he was trying to be peacemaker. At the time. It don't, yeah. look, it don't it look, look like that. You don't know that. It didn't look like that at the time, but he was trying to be peacemaker between everything that was happening, which turns out to be Meek Mill's camp and the other boxer. Gary Russell Jr. Gary Russell. Boom. Oh. There we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's what, that's what ended up happening. I'm I was very excited about that. They didn't fight, so I'm offering That's, pushback to yes. y'all nigga shit. So, uh, people broke that up. The fight continued. Yes. Meek and his right? whole crew left. And then Meek and his whole crew left, mm-hmm. which at that, that moment, I wanted to come in here and ask the four of you men, what is one of the most important man lessons that you've ever learned in life? I'll start, because that triggered me. I've been in many a spots where it almost got there, and then the other person left first. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta rush and gather up my people. Oh no, buddy, you're not leaving this spot first. I'm out of here. See, when I was young, I used to think that was the pussy move. Whoever left, you just pussy. And then I got a little older, and it's very important. And then I seen a couple of the people that was walking away, and I recognized a few of them. And I just tweeted, hey, y'all be careful out there. <laughs> <laughs> I just tweeted, yo. Hey, everybody, please just be safe out there tonight, man. That's it. I've seen a couple of them niggas. I recognize the outfits, <laughs> the style of walk. Your radar better go up. <laughs> do, 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 do. But everything was cool. Yeah, that, that's, that's the important part. Everything was cool. Everything that's was cool. And we have to give credit to Gary, though, because he could have called, you know, that was the city, right? Cool, cooler heads prevail, y'all. Yeah, think that, and I respect you know. that. He did a good job because he could have. I can see how you get in trouble with niggas. You got to give credit to Gary. Why? Because he could have made a call. Because he could have yeah, made, made a call. He could have. You in the city, he could have made a call. And, I understand. They could have surrounded the building. I've seen it before. Not with them, but I've seen it in you real life. You survived? You was involved too. Oh, but I don't remember anything. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I wouldn't remember I was anything. there. Let me say, we we around that type of stuff where we've seen that we, you know, you That's made a call mm-hmm. and people surrounded and yeah, somebody played with you. They just told you, just go get in the car. I just went and got in the car. <laughs> 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 I was that guy <laughs> in the crew. When niggas tell me you to get in the car, where the, give me the well, key. <laughs> 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 shout out to them. I'm going. You want, me, you want me to pull up somewhere? <laughs> but I mean, that's but that's why I had to push back, and I agree with the pushback with the nigga shit because can we give them credit that even though something happened, they yeah, were old. I'm giving them the, 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 people that, the, the people that de escalated the problem there, yes. whether that be Gilly, Wallow, Stack, I don't know the people involved uh, that were there, but kudos to y'all. Mm-hmm. We've seen it go Absolutely. the other way. Fact. We've seen people hired to de escalate mm-hmm. that don't. So, mm-hmm. I mean, my that's hat's true. off. My hat's True. off to them. Mm-hmm. Okay. And everybody was there in support of somebody that that was a major mm-hmm. night for. Yeah. yeah. Like, that was a big fight. All the fighters were there. Mm-hmm. That's and that's true. the other reason. Aside from that being a drug dealer convention, <laughs> that was the other reason that I wouldn't have went. On my TV, they kept showing a bunch of niggas that in my head, I thought I would sleep. <laughs> <laughs> in your head. Yeah. Oh, okay. They showed some little tiny fucking smack dude. Mm-hmm. Shaking hands with people. I'm like, you lucky I ain't out there. I'll put you to bed. 17 times. Right, right. World, <laughs> never <laughs> lost in Cuba. 35 and most of them was knockouts. Yeah, all knockouts. He's sitting there looking <laughs> like, yo, you know, let me stay home. Man. <laughs> you going you know, to your little arrogant shit if oh, no, you want no, no, to. No, 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 not near. Yeah. Those niggas will put your button right down. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be the moment that the most phones ever yo, have been ever. pulled out oh, yeah. to tape yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. Y'all thought that little Ellen DeGeneres picture at the Oscars did something yeah. a few years back. Oh, man. <laughs> Niggas would have their phones out yeah. if Joe gets slept a day. <laughs> yeah, that should have been. I like, made some jokes about boots fit until I, I saw the record and I saw the first round. I said, you know what? That was a dope fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that shit was fly. Yeah, shout yeah. Out he, he did that. Oh, and shout out to OnlyFans. Come on, yo. <laughs> they came up. They nah, came up. come on. Nah, they came up. <laughs> Boy, they must have spent a pretty penny. They spent some burnt. They, they spent, spent a pretty money. penny. It was a couple boxes with OnlyFans shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, they spent some money. I kind of didn't like that, though. Why? I'm sorry. Wow. You know, All right, lose us some money. <laughs> All right. Shout out to... All right. <laughs> go. What you didn't like? No, go. I'm yeah, sorry. I didn't like it. What you didn't like? Because OnlyFans... We know OnlyFans for one thing, regardless of... It might be a boxing community over there, though. Man, I mean, I'm an OnlyFans. You know what I'm watching. <laughs> no, we don't. 
<laughs> you know what I'm watching because you are OnlyFans um, yeah, dwell Fishinata, as well. We're not, the, we're not into the same stuff, yeah. though. Huh. You are OnlyFans dwell as well. <laughs> like, I saw the chicks that were saying what up to you at the hookah spot and the chicks that were saying what up to me <laughs> at the hookah spot. And it was just... They were the same. <laughs> they were the same. You were saying. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that, you know, at first I, I ain't like it. I'm like, man, because these niggas sold, they sold. But that's just nigga shit I'm on. Like, just hating. That's hate. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, hate. Because I'm pretty sure OnlyFans getting them a big bag to do for that. For sure. Huge. Absolutely. And I'm sure that OnlyFans yeah. would like to be known for much more than Damn. what they're currently they, They've been saying for, for the longest and, that they're yeah. trying to And they're willing to spend for it. Away from that. So the I, fact that they spent for it on multiple boxers, and I know that was a pretty penny. Mm -hmm. Shout out to OnlyFans. Shout out to OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Shout out to OnlyFans. Yeah, boxers man. might be on there training for, you know what I mean? Nobody. Six ninety nine a month or something. CP, chill out, man. Black, black it's possible. headline of card. Yeah. What are you talking about? It ain't just that over there. Yo, pay-per-view when I was a kid used to be like a big deal. Today, I won't give $60 to any of them niggas to fight. <laughs> you don't even have to be a certified boxer. You know? <laughs> if niggas just set up a little knuckle lock, I'm going to pay 60 to watch. That's you know? facts, though. That's facts. Nah. Pay-per-view today is like, all right, well, what's up? Yeah, I used to be stingy. It's easy now though too, because you just do it through the app and shit. Like before, you said like call a racks. number or something yeah, yeah, like call that. Call a cable company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to order the fight. I do it right on TV. They be like, "You sure, I'm Joe?" Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes nigga. I got seventy five right here. I went crazy yeah. pay per view as a kid. Hmm? Wrestling. I watch a lot of wrestling pay per views, so I went crazy. We don't care, yo. You look like anyway, no, 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 no. Don't do that. I told you about that. <laughs> don't do that, nigga. Don't do that. You watch porn pay per views. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy Reynolds in them. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Shout out to Roxy. Shout out to Roxy. Don't don't do that. Don't I spoke that. the other day. You Shout out to Roxy. Shout out to Roxy. Yo, pick them names up. Unapologetic. <laughs> just dropping all the names. Shout out to Roxy. I love her. She's pretty Um. All right, fight night. I'm done. Anything else on fight night? Mm -mm. Shout, nah. to, shout out to Javon. I could have sworn I saw Should we get into Meek and Ghana first since it's Meek off the fight? Yeah, we could do that. Meek went to Ghana and shot a video in the president's house. Well, before that, he was mobbed and, and with the whole his phone situation. Oh, yeah, we snitched on one of them niggas. Lock him up. <laughs> Pit pocking ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you're going down. He took, he took the snitch back. Oh, that nigga ratted on one of them and shot a video in the president. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yo, with that. I love Meek. Meek is like a superhero. Meek is my man, world, yo. yo. That's my, I love him. Fact. I absolutely love him. He's all over the place. And then Flip, and then Flip going to ask me, was he wrong? And yes, he was wrong. As I explained to Flip, you can't go shoot a video in the president's house in Ghana. Now, Meek apologized. I tried to find the tweets, but I can't find yeah, I can't them. Find they scrubbed the internet. Keep telling Ian we need one of those. Internet discover. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, enough yeah. is enough. Well, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll get to you at some point. Yeah. Um, what, what's wrong about though? I might be ignorant. What's wrong about shooting the video in the uh, in the president's house? From what I was reading, I don't know. From what I was reading, it, um, <clears throat> I saw people getting upset because they're like, "You can't even take pictures there. It's not a. It's like a super secure place. Like there was a drone flying over. So I guess it's a security breach or something. I'm not sure. Okay. But I just saw people upset because it's like, you can't even take pictures in the embassy. You can't take pictures at the house. Got it. Yet, why is he doing this? Like, Got you. Okay. Something like While that. While I might not understand so much culturally over there, you you can't do that over here. Yeah. True. True. Easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, a, a rap NWA ain't going to make a video in the White House. And if somebody from somewhere else, if Bad Bunny came to the White House, and just started shooting a video with his one cameraman, because that's what Meek said in his apology. He said, it wasn't like a video shoot. I had one guy. Uh, it was like some covert it was one shit. one camera. I was just feeling the love and the energy here, and I didn't. I wasn't aware of the rules. Mm -hmm. So okay. in, in America, his point, what he was saying was, in America, it's everything is division. Everything is divisive. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be dope to kind of do a video here and show that type of unity and just what y'all on over here. But he didn't have permission. Let me, let me ask you a question. No. Okay. Do, do yeah, you know what the content was? Of the song? Yeah. Like, because uh, I think that matters. It would. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I think that matters. I don't, I think, that I don't that it, think it matters. I don't, I don't think it would matter either if you don't have permission. True, yeah. but I think that if you doing a normal street ghetto anthem type song, it's different than if you doing some heal the world. You know what I mean? Like it's a it's a totally different thing. Whether you I got permission or, or or not, if you doing a song about certain content, now we gonna really be in in, in enraged. I don't care I what that song is about. Uh, I'm, I'm my my take yeah. is, is this is a super secure building that we don't play that in. 
And you, you got to be on filming some love shit. We you welcomed shoot. you in here yeah, and you shoot yeah, the video on some sneaky shit. I guess it's funny. Then you put it out after you left. It's like, mm. nah. Yeah. Yeah. I understand it. Yeah, it so I, like I said, I get it. And I, even if his heart was in the right place, you just you went about it wrong. And he deleted it, you said, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I liked this one too from my house. <laughs> From my house. He's having a blast in the crib. From my house. I know it's wrong. I know. I agree with y'all. But from home, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. They had all those goonies in there. I was looking at it from a director's standpoint. They did like nine cuts of some shit, the same verse. Oh, they was getting their shit off up in there. But it was wrong, and he apologized, and mm. I don't condone any of that. Melissa, what do you how, I what mean, do you how think? did he get that far into the house and the they let whole him in. production. Let him in. No, but I, I, I get that they let him in. And nightmares. No, I totally <laughs> understand that they let him in, but how did it get to the point in which he's cutting like, you know, different angles and, and shit like that? I don't, Security gave him the, they let him, they let him yeah, go live, in. Live, live. That was part of their problem too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Security breach. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Was di- they were dissing the president and the people and all of that. He's a, yeah. Listen, and rap, an listen, interesting y'all week. don't want to come to the conclusion. Rap, everything about rap is toxic. We shoot videos everywhere mm-hmm. without permits. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you see, without that. permission, <laughs> dude shot the video. That's how we shoot videos. Yeah, at the insurrection, shot a rap video, and yeah. then they call it guerrilla style. Hmm, I'm doing a science now. Oh <laughs> shit, I'm doing a science now. But anyway, is that what it's called for? It is. Yeah, yeah. that's really yeah. what it's called. <laughs> Different spelling of yeah, gorilla, yeah, but G-U-E. still, but, yeah. mm-hmm. it's called gorilla. Yeah, I'm judging y'all for knowing how to really spell gorilla. <laughs> I didn't say I knew how to spell it. I just Bars, know why you know how to spell gorilla, yo? <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, you supposed to lie about that one. <laughs> um, all right, what else is important? What else is important? Oh shit, I had a blast with this one too. The funeral. Rest in peace to the young man, Big Scar. Big Rest Scar. in peace. Prayers, thoughts, condolences, love to his family. Order some of his family. Okay. Yeah. Big yeah. debate online. Uh, gentleman died, and immediately we started getting updates mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. certain members of the family, which the press was reporting as the gentleman's family. See, I'm sitting at home, and I don't believe none of that shit on the internet. So when you say family, nigga, who is this person? Yeah, one was a, a, a brother and, and, and a sister. sister. Mm-hmm. Did you get along? I got to start asking questions because that was my question at home. Why aren't you mourning? I'm seeing too much of you talking about everything that don't matter besides the loss of your family member. Get the fuck off the Internet. What has to happen for you idiots to put a fucking phone down? I don't get it. But hey, y'all want to post it? I'm going to toast it. I I have a problem with that. Hey, man, come on. Come back again. (laughs) I have a problem. But but the family, I mean, I, I guess Gucci doesn't have to pay for their funeral. That's where life insurance that part. comes in. You know, I, I think we need a lesson on life insurance so we could uh, teach people to get these insurance so the funerals could be paid. So Gucci doesn't have to. Another thing, I think that is extremely disrespectful that the brother and sister, the brother has pictures of a lot of money, but is mad about $10,000. On top of that, they said that they made Atlantic send another ten. You didn't make Atlantic do anything. Nigga shit at its finest. So I feel. They don't want to get back the chains. Get the man back his chains, please. Yeah, yeah. Like, especially for artists like Gucci, you know what them chains represent. You know what that's about. You know, exactly. you know, something could go happen to one of y'all, somebody get one of them chains. Now it's a whole like them chains was your brother chains. Yeah. For a reason. He paid, he didn't have like you said, he didn't have to. I didn't like that. I didn't like them coming out saying, Yo, you didn't do this. Well, one, I didn't have to do this. But here, let me show you what I did anyway. Mm-hmm. You mad because I didn't give the money to you. I paused on that one long and hard on the, mm-hmm. you didn't pay for the funeral. This is before uh, Gucci before, and his wife the, cleared it up. Okay. Mm-hmm. I paused on that one for a long time because I wasn't know if I was morally sound and thinking, well, why the fuck he got to pay for the funeral? You know? It's crazy. You you've, been, you've been his family his whole life. Now you going on a, that entitlement shit. Mm-hmm. Is different. I mean, oh, it's pocket watching too. Mm-hmm. Be yeah, they watching. did a lot of that. Spock. It was a, it was lot, a lot of, of pocket watching. It was a lot of that, not enough mourning. But but Jay, let me just say the side note. Jay gave twenty thousand to Black Rob's funeral, right? And he's a billionaire. French gave money to Chink's funeral. Jim gave money to Stack's funeral. It's, it's a choice 
yeah. of theirs. They don't have to do yeah. it. It's for your family to make sure that they do it for you. Like, you know, make sure things are in order. The girl said, the girl grabbed her phone, ran out of work, <laughs> logged on to say, man, that $10,000 ain't do shit. Oh, you sent 20, that 20,000 ain't do shit. That casket was 15,000, these flowers were 10,000. You thought that 20,000 did something tough? We been had money. I'm on break right now. Nigga, like, nigga shit. She on break. That is at UPS. Nigga shit. <laughs> you lost. No, had, no, no bullshit. She, had, she you, was on UPS, she had UPS, my nigga. Don't, I was break. sitting there wondering why my shit ain't. Biggie said it. I didn't say <laughs> it. Don't do that to UPS. <laughs> Biggie said that. Yo, chill. I'm not. I'm I didn't get it when Biggie said it back then. No, I got it then. I, 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 I remind people now. I remind people now. I got a UPS But why sponsorship. that back then that didn't make sense? UPS paid a couple dollars back then. <laughs> exactly. Well, for me, I y'all ever worked UPS? So I was 15. You no, but I got a sponsorship. Have y'all ever worked? Wait, have y'all ever worked at UPS? I got hired there. Have I you bet ever you did. Did you work there? At UPS? I got hired there. Answer mm. my question. I might have worked today. Well, you're my man. You worked at what? I might have worked today. Why is that? Because he wanted to. Because right there where it was in Secaucus, mm -hmm. that shit was in the back, back, back block. You know what the outlets have in Secaucus? Mm -hmm. If you go, well, you I know, know where that. the UPS is at back mm -hmm. there. In the mornings, though, that's like, they robbed niggas over there because that's the outlets. So it was a long walk over the bridge. <laughs> I took that walk <laughs> one morning. Oh, you were scared straight? Oh. No, I just wasn't going <laughs> to. That's what I walk. heard, Ish. Yeah, that's what you said. That's it's what it cool. sounds like. You got no, it. I'm just that's what Fam, it sounds like. It's niggas true. cracked on the UPS it's because true. it was really, really, really hard laybacks. Like, yo, dog, you might get a whole big ass 18 wheeler. You got to unload that bitch by yourself mm. for that fourteen dollars an hour. Melissa, you ever worked at? I forget it. No, no, no. Have <laughs> what? No, you never worked at UPS. I have never worked for UPS. No, I have not. I did that shit no. one day. But I mean, I've worked at literally, you know, jobs. Got back, took them. Yo, y'all can have this hat, <laughs> this Wait, uniform. You, you hear her trying to relate her. to normal people. <laughs> <laughs> I worked jobs. I've worked jobs before. I knew something was off because earlier she was like, I'm just trying to be low maintenance. And I heard, well, if you got to say that to yourself, then you're probably not low maintenance. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. If you have to try to be low maintenance, yeah, you're not low maintenance. Then you're not you're making yeah, an yeah. effort. Do you think you're low maintenance? I am so low maintenance. Okay. I am so low maintenance. I can see it. I, I, and I said, I like to be everybody's like most low maintenance friend. I'm with you, Flip. You like to be everyone's most low maintenance friend? My friends, I like to be their most low maintenance friend. The friend that, that's that like needy, the friend that is supportive, the friend that you can come to when you need help. But what are the friends or, like? Huh? What are the friends like? Uh, well, I mean, you all met one of my best friends, Shanta, you know, late last year. Isn't she? She's amazing. You know? Yeah. So we have a... I'm just saying, are they very high maintenance? Because the bar might be a little different. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, like one of my best friends is extremely high maintenance. You know, she emotionally dumps on me a lot. She mm. does. Ne she never checks in with me to find out if I'm if I've got the fucking bandwidth to handle it. Mm. It's just it's it's very one side. I love her so much for in spite of all that shit. So you don't really fuck with that part about her, but I go. yeah, like yeah, I yeah, love yeah. her in spite of that stuff. But <laughs> you know, like I f I can't go to her you know, with my own issues because she's not receptive to it, but she does that. She does that to me. So you can, that's you what can I mean. come to us now. I know. Yeah. Yo, yeah. you, you and I, mm, you can come to us, yeah, but, but shout out, shout out to library. Cause he said he can see how low maintenance you, that you're low maintenance, but I can't see it. I think you're high, but shout out to you. A, a real nigga. You can see well, that's what I why can't the chemistry see. Is different between it is. Do you see what I see? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Um, where was I at? I don't even remember. The funeral. The funeral. The funeral. And the, um, oh, yeah, that family's crazy. She was yeah. on break of UPS saying 10000 20000 Bigger than that, shit. my thing is, yo, if you need money for your funeral, why the fuck you buying a $15,000 casket? Yeah, she mm. was like, the funeral, that, that 10000 or whatever wasn't nothing. The funeral was sixty grand. Sixty and grand. Was at like, the funeral is nuts. Excuse me? Ish, I don't believe for one second that that casket was $15,000. Oh, I ain't see it. Mm. It don't matter. I don't care. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, you yo. got a casket from Costco's now. I know. They, they do? Got, they got some $15,000 yeah. Walmart, caskets. Costco. I Walmart. didn't know that at first. I felt weird uh, getting excited about that when my granddaddy was dying. <laughs> Costco casket. <laughs> it was in front of him, too. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what? Which one you want? They got a few days <laughs> left. <laughs> Yo, Yo my family had so much fun with my grand. Rest in peace to my grand, grand, granddad, man. My family had fun. My pop need help. You need help, pop. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm I'm done here. We're done with that. Oh no! Yeah. Then she said, "If you want the chains back, to get it back in blood." I wasn't even. What is happening? That I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'm just telling you what she said. That's what she said. Then we though. can move on. And you know what I thought? 
I ain't gonna say it. Nah, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. I thought something too, though. I would. I'm gonna say it. I thought it. Talk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Have it your way. <laughs> hey, I bet them chains come back. <laughs> hey, here's well, the, my prediction. He's getting those chains back. Did you Facts. see? Did you see the the, the latest I, update? I saw the dad. Yeah. I saw the dad do a live stream saying, "Yo, nah, I ain't even gonna let y'all do that to Gucci." Like, mm-hmm. I ain't even letting y'all do that. You stand up, dude, gave my son an opportunity. I'm forever grateful and thankful, and y'all shut the fuck up. That's what I saw. Mm. Mm. Might be too late now, though. I might be mad. That's dope. Might be mad. That is dope. Shout the pops. Y'all gotta be careful. The internet, y'all don't do nothing but make niggas mad. Y'all ain't be careful who y'all make mad. Yeah, I've right. been laughing all night. Yo, what a great week it's been for me. All night and all morning, I've been laughing. Y'all been talking about TCU getting their ass handed to them by uh, Georgia. That was a mess. Georgia back-to-back champions. Shout out to them. They're like 33, 34-1 and one over the last ass. two years. Uh, uh, you had the meme that went viral with the guy, the guy saying, the best thing in the world was Nick Saban doing the title game. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> the guy sat next to him like, oh, Georgia, the most dominant team in the world. What does Nick look like? <laughs> So now, all morning, I cut the TV on. Georgia, 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 Georgia. You know what y'all doing? Making, making it making mad. mad. That's all they did. That's making all they did is make Nick Saban mad. You don't pay for it. I don't care about that game last night. I didn't watch that shit. I started to, but I, I cut that motherfucker off. I, I, got four, I got forced to watch that game last night. I because game. They, 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 they put the little tweet up saying that they was going to drop the new Ant-Man trailer at the game. This is what? First three hours of your day? <laughs> Fucking yeah, bro. I'm watching the fucking, I'm watching the game to see this shit. Yo, you are a loser, but go ahead. I, I know, man. man you this know is how a I, real loser ass. Hey, that's, how, that's how I get that. I see why we that don't should take be on YouTube trips. by 11 o'clock, man. I see why we so don't I take trips. I need to trips. see it live. I need to see when that shit aired, bro. <laughs> Nigga <laughs> watch the championship game for the Ant Man trailer. <laughs> so fire, too. Work. Nah, I'm with the internet. Yeah. Get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, I'm with the internet. Who the hell is this oh, guy? Oh, man, yo. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, they making Nick Saban mad. That's all I got yeah, about the yeah, game. Yeah, they'll, they'll pay for that. Next year, chalk it up. I'm, I'm willing to make the bet tomorrow. As soon as the eyes come. Mm-mm. That recruiting's going to be a little different this offseason. Alabama already got like the best recruiting class ever that came in. Yeah, but he's going go, he to go to the living rooms. No, yeah, but you know what, though? This is the last year of the Hellcat. There might be a little, you know, they was giving the niggas the Hellcats to come stupid, over. Yeah. So it might change things a little bit. Dion's going to change it. Dion's going to heavily change recruiting in D1. I think. Okay. We'll see. Gonna put a dent in Alabama? Alabama's a tough one to take down, bro. We'll, we'll see. They're gonna be them. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that one. They're gonna be them. We're gonna see. All right. Well, oh, well, speaking of uh, colleges, real quick before I get out of here, and then y'all can have a blast. Mm-hmm. Uh, workplaces are dropping bachelor degrees, and experts think that should become the norm this year. 2023 will center on skills-based hiring rather than degree requirements, at least at successful companies, predicts research advisory and consulting firm Gartner in its list of top nine workplace predictions of the year. Y'all laughed me out of building in our last conversation, so mm-hmm. I repeat, y'all don't think that in 50 years or 60 or 70 or 100 will be irrelevant. years, right. I'm just asking, mm. I'm just asking, just yes or no. And then we can move right on. That's not really what was discussed. It got changed. I'm still saying it didn't, no. it didn't get changed. It I just did. I just worded it wrong. I said entrepreneur, entrepreneur. That's a very big difference. Uh, financial literacy and no. This, nowadays, what they said. Nowadays, skills okay. and workshops. Entrepreneurship is different than working a job. Entrepreneurship means that you are your own boss. You working for somebody else is a totally different thing. People having a different understanding of the money they can make and how they can make it will get colleges out of here. That is my bold statement. What's happening? By. Yeah, because what's happening in the mad colleges is niggas are getting bachelor's degrees in in majors that no disrespect to nobody that really don't mean shit. Mm-hmm. So then, so then agree with me and help me make my point when I'm saying it wrong instead of opposing me. Um. <laughs> This guy's a cool uh, all right, y'all want to talk about the streamer dude that got himself in some shit? I personally don't want to talk about that right now. Free Elder Barge. Mm. Well, man, they was hating on Elder Barge, man. Well, Elder did. They picked him up at a gas station. He, he was already at the gas station. Car broke down or something. Police roll in there and say, yo, you got expired tags. So then when they go check, they see a baton in the car. The, the metal. Mm hmm. It's a legal weapon. Wait, where, where was this? I, that was my next question. I'll tell you where. 
Yeah. Okay, first of all, how do expired tags give you a license to, like, you know, an opportunity? Certain states, you go going to, to jail for them. To search your car? Mm -hmm. expired, ta expired tags basically give them a wide berth to shoot, to, to search your car. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yep. Yo, dog, in New York City, if your license is ex uh, suspended, you're going to jail. Oh, I know. I have gone to jail. Uh, me too. In New York. <laughs> they don't for do a that here. So I was different. like, are you fucking if kidding me? If your insurance me? lapses for a day jail. in New York, you're to going jail. to jail. No, I know. I went to jail. It was in Burbank, California. Oh, there we go. That's, in Bur that's, that's terrible. Yeah. That's terrible. Well, free out the barge yeah. is all I really want to say. You're going to lock a nigga up for a baton that made this. That's what I'm saying. I just want to free all the niggas with like one or two slaps. <laughs> Finally, free somebody, somebody with, with, with an freeing. actual catalog. That's worth freeing. Yeah. All, right, all right, careful. What? It's a nigga they said they found with a whole catalog. They said, with a catalog. They found, oh. they found some drugs too, apparently, though. What happened? Yo, Park, stop ratting. <laughs> I'm just telling you what to do. Put the phone away. Yo, they, they shouldn't even have looked in his car to find the drugs. That was my whole thing. All of us got drugs, man. It's California, too. Like, what was the drugs? Fucking weed? No, it was... Look. Would you call it skag? So strong weed. Skag? Got some skag? Some skag? What is skag? I'm Damn. sorry, help. Skag translation. Harold. Oh. Well, well. All right. Question. Who here thinks that soul singers from the 70s <laughs> didn't experiment Everybody. with hard drugs? Sure. That's my You're, question no. for our panel Any of people. Any entertainer in the 70s was Fact. getting high. Yeah. Yeah. I just watched some shit on Richard Pryor the other night. And well. yo, they was getting busy. Mm -hmm. Every entertainer in the 70s and early 80s that had a couple dollars, <laughs> cocaine was like a rite of passage. Yep. And all and of athletes their, too. And all of their entertainers <laughs> now. Quaaludes yeah, were major. <laughs> they should change the drugs. <laughs> Quaaludes were major mm -hmm. back then. Like that shit was they sounded like fun, right? What, Quaaludes? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> for sure I say that anybody all anybody got any lemon no, I say that all you all too you, know, all you today would not hang out with the guy with Quaaludes you are you and your yoga bag <laughs> you and your Pilates bag all of that inner baddie shit you Listen, was doing is suppressed no, and no, retired no, me, yeah no let me tell you something I really there's certain things that I have like mine I wouldn't say regrets but just kind of wish I could go back in time and do and I wish I could have partied a little bit more like I never come on what the is the reaction for I was so green I like I smoked weed I drank alcohol I never did ecstasy I never did molly I never oh, did man. any fun shit you know what I mean you ain't never did molly you I know, said you, right you said you've been microdosing though last time or the first yeah. time you came yes but I have a problem calling that drugs that's plant medicine so I do ah. mush I, I microdose mushrooms mm. and but I mean it helps with like you know plant anxiety medicine. and like depression and shit it's not like I haven't gone on a fucking LSD trip. I really want to do that shit. Want to do ayahuasca? I want to fly with the fucking birds. <laughs> <laughs> the question that I want to ask, I can't ask. Please ask. Of, I know. Well, you give me. Do you give consent? Yes, I do. You want to do those drugs and not do the fucking? Oh, I would absolutely love to get some dick while doing those drugs. Yes, yes, okay. I would. Round of applause. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! Are you shitting me? Are you dumb? Yes, round of applause. I would love some. Double around. I'd love some. Yes, I'd love oh. some. What this here? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? The, the last living ayahuasca. Dick Owaska. Fucking yeah, crazy. Bitch. <laughs> Antoine. Are <laughs> no, you crazy? Oh, oh shit. Just kill that little shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Anyway. <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> Fuck it while tripping is a trip. I'll yeah. take it. It's amazing. That's, that's some other shit. Holy god. It's amazing. That's some other shit. A little chocolate mushroom shit. <clears throat> I'm still trying to get some more of those. <laughs> Fine. I just well, see it before. You can't do that to a room full of men. And you do that on purpose. Stop I doing that shit. No. <laughs> no, stop doing that. Nah, yeah, you, you be doing some bullshit. And you be doing some bullshit. No, 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 you're, you're not. not one of the boys. All right, let's take it. Let's dispel that right now. Let's dispel that right now. No, that's that's the double standard. I, Flip and Melissa Ford are in good faith. Uh, in good faith. Well, one of them is in good faith. Uh, joining the network, Flip and what capacity is Flip in? Flip has we've been vibing and building chemistry. Right? Oh. And I'm taking him. He's joining the boat Joe Budden boot camp program. 
Mm-mm, don't I say know that. you don't like that, but that is what it is. Don't say that. No, I'm not. And we're going to get you right, and we're going to get things right. So, round of applause. No, 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 a lot of y'all have been asking, yo, please get him off the pod. Please never have him come back to the pod. I hear y'all. And I'm doubling down. <laughs> yeah, because I like that. Because y'all in fans was quiet as shit for about a year. Mm. It was quiet, quiet so as a church mouth. That is true. So now, now y'all got opinions. Yeah, now they got opinions. They got a voice. They got a cast member. They switching around people. Like, hey, y'all slow down. But it's good to see some reaction out there. I like that. I like really? that. Really? Boot camp? Well, you don't get paid. That's not in, a bad thing, though. You don't get paid in boot camp. Yeah, you oh, do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, All right, do. so send, sign me up again. <laughs> I'm a part of this. That's it, me and we, M4. We expressed that already. I'm like, but you don't, 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 don't. I'm Queen's Flip. Melissa, you're not one of the boys. <sighs> At all. Yeah. Damn it. You cool. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. I'm and not, hopefully yeah. the boys here know and treat you <laughs> like you're not. Oh, no, one one, 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 we don't need that energy in here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Please, okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. You guys word. went to the sensitivity yeah, you training. Your, yeah. Keep your distance. I love that. Aw. You ain't got no baggy jeans. They're coming back in style. <laughs> <laughs> baggy jeans is coming back in. Corduroys, baby. Um, I big know. flowy shirts <laughs> yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I, next time, I packed all my tight shit and like, you know, my thigh high boots and don't whatnot. Don't do that, Fish. Don't okay. do that. <laughs> Don't do that. You seen what you did. <laughs> uh, all right. So, what else is important up there? I got a question. I've been dying to ask. Dying to ask. Okay, dying to ask. I've been asking behind the scenes. Nobody's been able to tell me. Mm-hmm. Who is Andrew Tate? Do a- you really not know? I no. have no idea. As well. I do he, not know he, who Andrew he, Tate I'm is. The, I'm the Andrew well, Tate. he's a self-professed mono- um, uh, misogynist. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like. Super wealthy, like I'm not sure what his family does or whatever the case is. Well, recently he was arrested for sex trafficking and rape, um, but he's created a legion of followers that just kind of believe in his um, misogynistic ideology. Also, he's a podcaster. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the fuck he is. Yeah, you think so? Huh? He? Yeah, I mean, he, he's a mouthpiece. Mm, he yeah, is. so wherever okay. there's a mic. You, but you said all of that. Mm-hmm. You didn't answer. I didn't get an answer. And to the I question. still don't like know who? who Andrew Tate is. Yeah. I've seen him in the news. I've seen these stories that you're explaining to me. And the people rallied like, what it, is that? like down with Andrew Tate. I have no idea who it was. Like yeah, I, the, I, the whole internet was very excited never, that he went down. I never heard of dude. I and mean, out of nowhere, I, it was a big deal when he got banned from everywhere. Mm-hmm. That's and a I fact. Was like, who, mm. who, who was? I, I didn't know who he was. I he, thought he was a politician or some shit. He, he, used, to be like a kick, he used to be a kickboxer. See, that's, uh, the, fr- that's okay. the first answer I'm, that I okay. used to hear when I asked this yeah, question. he was a kickboxer. Yeah. He was a kickboxer. He was. Yes. You niggas are weird to me that have that told me that. Name me some other kickboxers. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are fucking weirdos, all of you kids. So, so is that like UFC? Was there, he in the UFC? No. See, look. No. No. See, look. Was he part of an organization? The internet do this a lot where somebody will be standing right in the room with us and don't nobody know who this nigga is. What he's done. Yeah. What he's done, what's how his, he got famous. What's his credentials? Yeah. Absolutely. A, I mean, had, in today's a, society, does it really take a track record for you to be famous? Well, not, it goes back to the, the but he, don't go to college thing. He, he made yeah. millions the of com- dollars because because he, right. he made millions of dollars because he had a website yes. with like 75 webcam a girls. Webcam, a webcam Yeah, which they sold stories to yes. men. And, you know, he made a, he made millions of dollars of that. Okay. And then he See, did it. I didn't a, even know that. He like 100,000 oh, So he was a pornographer kickboxer. Something like that. Thank you, Parks. And they sold stories to men. And he made a lot of money. He made millions of dollars off of that. Why do you keep saying stories? I stories? guess they did. Sold, webcam? They sold sob the webcam stories. Site. He owned That's a webcam site. They sold site. sob stories to, to men. I'm, and he, he made a shit ton of money from what I understand. Yeah. He's borderline pushing a B. But um, his fame now is coming from kind of, I don't want to group him, but kind of Kevin Samuels-esque. Yeah. In he, that um, he goes on a bunch of platforms and he talks about relationships between men and women and uh, the standards that are being set today by both genders. And so that's where he's really picking up steam. That's okay. a very diplomatic way of describing it. Yeah. 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 I so. Yeah. Go ahead. Take it away. No, I saw Melissa Nish. Oh. No, I'm just saying <laughs> that that's what, that's what he's getting famous for. Nobody really knows when you start to delve into. So nobody knows who Andrew Tate is. That's all I keep hearing. That's what I keep hearing. But that's all we know. But that's all you. So when we don't know nothing. The only then. thing. What, what is you looking for? Yeah, yeah. I don't taking a, taking relationship advice is. from a pornographer, pornographer uh, kickboxers. 
Yeah, that's hate, 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 hate. It hey, might be. Hey, maybe. That's not hate on who? Hey, maybe so. Not, not, not you. Hate, hate, hate. But it could be hate. Let me tell you something. I just watched um, oh, Murdoch, the Murdoch doc. Mm-hmm. Nigga was good. I still kind of don't know what he did wrong watching that doc. But anyway, in the Murdoch doc, after he was getting money for like 40 years, nigga started hating. <laughs> nigga wrote a long note. And this is what it said in the note. It was so fly, I was stealing it. And it applies here. <laughs> it said, I'm going to prove one of three things in this next portion that I'm writing. Either I am a psychotic lunatic and I need to be checked into a mental house because I'm out of my fucking mind. One. Two. This person is doing legit business and everything is great. Or three. This person is a liar and he's absolutely full of shit and he's got all of y'all fooled. I think the same exact thing applies for Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate, when Kevin Samuels was popping, because y'all keep putting him in that same boat, and I'm going to get this five minutes off and be done with this. When Kevin Samuels was popping, I didn't hear too much Andrew Tate. Which is interesting because that sort of pseudo-misogynistic style of journalism or or content was taken off. I didn't hear a peep about an Andrew Tate. And then when I heard about him, I heard about him in bunches. The first story was, he's a kickboxer. Take it somewhere else, fam. All I care about is John claude Van Damme and Bloodsport. <laughs> I can't name you one other kickboxer in the world. Ken. So why do I... <laughs> and Ryu. Ryu. <laughs> oh, you can... So why do I give a fuck about this? I don't. Then they said, he's got a whole lot of cars and a whole lot of money. Well, that's great, but I was here for damn Brazilian too. <laughs> that don't impress me. Who the fuck is this person? And then they said he is on the top 10 list from the government of banned people. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Now I'm in. So you're telling me this guy that was just home... <laughs> Creating content and kicked a couple niggas. <laughs> this is the guy that's on, car. that's on the top 10. Why is the world or why is the country worried about him? Or why are multiple countries worried about him? But I, I just kept on going about my business. Then they told me they arrested him in Romania. I don't care. I don't know one other bit of Romanian news. <laughs> Facts I'm dead ass. Facts hey, the how about that was crazy. It's though. action going on over there every second. I can't tell you about none of it. Know why? Because I ain't supposed to know about none of it. It's not being pushed to me. But for some reason, Andrew Tate, and then he pops up on not Bill O'Reilly. What's my man's name? The other one that they just sued and lost all that money. Uh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Yeah. Popped up with Alex Jones. Yeah. I see Joe Rogan doing a piece on him. I've seen all of. Those style people mm. doing pieces on this nigga. Yes. Who the fuck is this nigga? Okay, so the reason. And what I'm asking is just mm-hmm. so we're clear: is who are the? Oh, I ain't even talking. Yeah. About, no. Who are the entities involved in him? Mm-hmm. Behind him? Invested? And him, y'all keep telling me about some bald, light skinned nigga <clears throat> that none of y'all really give a fuck about. <clears throat> when you start, what to is s- his agenda? Okay, and that's the problem. So when you start to say certain shit out your mouth, or you have certain information that comes out of your mouth, now you will start to get blackballed by the governments and the entities. So if he is saying certain things that would get him on somebody's band list, oh, they better watch Doggy Diamonds page then. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No. Yeah, I bet. So the reason why he came up a lot, the reason why the whole, why you know Romanian news is because there was the idea that he was in hiding because of the illegal activity that he's being accused of. And it's not that it happened in Romania. It's the fact that I believe he might have been on like, you know, Interpol's kind of radar, you know, which is like global police, basically, you know. And the reason why this became like a really big deal is because he started fucking with that young chick, Greta Thunberg, Mm -hmm. the um, the the, the Scandinavian activist. Mm -hmm. And when he posted a video talking shit to this teenage girl about climate change and and, and his cars and what kind of bullshit, and she sunned him, Interpol and investigators started to look at the background and they zeroed in on the pizza box and they figured out his... They said that was a rumor, by the way. 
Oh, okay, well, but, but go ahead. But, don't, don't but fuck that's kind of my point. Don't fuck about with cats. This. Yeah. yeah, don't fuck don't with fuck cats. With cats. <laughs> don't fuck with cats. Exactly. Okay. Um. So ba- that's what the rumor is, but it's there's a lot of um, heft. To I don't the believe rumor. none of that shit. All right, let me get clear in what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck about none of this, and I don't believe none of it. I don't believe one word of it. You don't believe he's a trafficker? And a well, well, he could be that. Okay. He could what be. What part a tra- don't you believe? He could be a trafficker. Mm. I don't believe. That he is just operating with his brother out here, and he's got him. So you think he got some backing? Yes, I would believe that. So conspiracy, a, and a lot. I think that, that a lot of those and people a lot that, of it from that, that are pushing the plant. same that are pushing that same message. Nigga's a plant. Mm. If you are asking me, mm. nigga's a plant. He's a porn plant. Nah, his message. And traffic his message. Why saying, they got? Why right. they got four K? Four K pictures of him being arrested. <laughs> Well, that's because he's a big deal. Stop it. Yeah. Stop Joe, if you got stop arrested it. tomorrow, it. they would stop have 8K it. pictures of you getting walked yeah. out in cuffs. You know why I don't want to hear none of this shit you're saying? We do this pod twice a week. At no point did we come in here and talk about what's going on with El Chapo. Uh, <laughs> El Chapo. I, <laughs> the son. shit, the big niggas that get arrested, <clears throat> it be feeling big and sounding big. This <clears throat> ain't that. It looks man, you just look like somebody walking on the moon. Well, El Chapo's a little closer than Romania, so that might be part of it. Hey, when some shit going on over there, mm-hmm. anywhere over there, this, that just looks manufactured. It looks fake. It mm-hmm. looks fake. Mm-hmm. It looks phony. It looks manufactured. I still know nothing about this guy or his brother or why he's with Aiden Ross. Like, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Or maybe I'm just from a different yeah, just, level of yeah. criminology. If I, I were if that. I were running a billion dollar sex ring, I'm not sitting with Aiden Ross. And doing podcasts. Yeah, I'm not doing every podcast in the world. I'm not popping my face up. When you pop up everywhere, you're trying to spread something. And when you're trying to spread something, that the, these theories don't change from the same reason they kill us for having Fauci here. Fauci's here because he was there to spread a message, right? What is the difference with Andrew Tate? Who is this message from and what is this message for and what is this message intended for? That is my question. I'm, enough is enough. You can't really answer that question, though, if you don't know what the message is. We know what Fauci's message was. Anybody out there, no comment. Anybody out there, if you have more information, now I feel like... Uh, the nigga at the end of uh, <laughs> what was the Unsolved show? Mysteries. <laughs> or, uh, no, John uh, Walsh. Yeah, John Walsh. I feel like John, if you have more information about this crime, America, America's Most Wanted. Call, call us in. Yeah, I used to watch America's Most Wanted, Wanted and feel like I knew all of them on there. <laughs> like I seen them before somewhere. Like they was following me. Nigga, you seen a nigga on a Hershey's commercial? Who the fuck is actors? Doritos. Fuck out of here. But no, I, I I fuck with Andrew Tate. To be honest with Wait, you. Wait, did you say America's Most Wanted was fake and they're actors? Would you thought those are the real people reenacting <laughs> their own crimes? Oh, you talking about the reenactment? Yeah, nah. mm. you talking about the criminal? Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Mm. Well, Andrew Tate was born in D.C. Well, hold up, Flip. Me too. I saw, I saw right now. I heard Melissa Hart kind of do like this <laughs> when it said, "I kind of fuck with Andrew Tate." How do you feel about that? I really want to know why. Like, I, I really. Want I mean, to it know. depends on what what you're saying. I think that <laughs> a broken clock is right twice a day. True. Um, I think that what we do um, as a society is we get emotional instead of listening to people and hearing if they have a good message or hearing if they're logical or if they make sense, we immediately just get emotional. And that's what happened with Kevin. That's exactly what happened with Kevin Samuels. And now you see two black women. So to your point with regards to Andrew Tate, some of the shit he says is bullshit. Be clear, I'm not supporting him. I'm just saying that some of the shit he says is bullshit, but a lot of shit that he says is accurate. So... To your point, you ain't hear about him when Kevin Samuels was here. Nope, because Kevin Samuels created a lane for other platform and content creators to dive right in when he passed away. You got two black women that dived in Kevin Samuels' space that are being meg- that are mega successful saying the same exact shit that black women killed him for. So Andrew Tate picked up that baton and ran with it too because Kevin Samuels left a space to avoid. I don't know. I think that Andrew Tate was there. It's just... He was there. He, he was he already was, there. It's just I'm not like, saying he wasn't there. Yeah. When Michael Jordan retired, Reggie Miller was there too. Yeah. So a lot of like Kevin Samuel's audience migrated over or migrated over to the others who I'm not going to yeah, mention. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. He was there, but I'm saying that Kevin Samuel's took this shit to another level with that particular message. Mm-hmm. Some people called it misogyny. Some people didn't. But when he passed away, rest in peace, Somebody else stepped right in. It was profitable. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I could, I could be heard and I could be seen. 
Well, in the comments, one of y'all tell me why y'all care about him out there. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm dying to know. I've been clueless. Oh, they I, caught I, I him, have they no caught idea, him from bro. the Romanian pizza box. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, pizza gate. I have fucking Vicky Minaj in front of me, buddy. <laughs> what, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> anyway. I don't know. Yeah, I, I never understood it. Um, like I said, to me, I, I didn't even know all of this, the backstory that y'all gave. Yeah. Charleston White, another one. He, he just popped all, up all out of nowhere. niggas that y'all just hype up out of fucking nowhere. I hate the internet. That's the internet, though. Mm. What? Who are you niggas? The internet gives you the place to become yeah. somebody without nobody knowing who, who you talking are. To y'all, exactly. to them, but not that, to me. Okay, but that still don't change. That still don't change what's going on in the world. Nigga, Logan Paul and all these other niggas have a platform. Yeah, they might not be in our living rooms, but they are in other people's Logan, living rooms or online. Logan, that's Logan, you're talking about Star Trek. I don't even understand what you're saying right now. Logan, See, Paul Logan Paul is the new Star Trek to me. <laughs> and guess what? It's some money behind Captain Kirk. Facts, but but you have to know that. And once you identify that, then you unlock a whole lot of other questions. Dog, we 40-year-old black men. Logan well, Paul is not going to come up on our radio. Radio. Radar. Pardon me. Did me. you hear me? I heard you. Respond. <laughs> I don't understand. Go ahead. You're 42 years old. <laughs> Very different from 48. Or I'm 46. It's highways. Some Holy of us not 40. shit. <laughs> yeah, you're not. You're still repping 47. <laughs> now you can't. Anyway. Yeah, you're nuts. Yo, anyway, <laughs> what I'm saying is these people, they might not come up on our radars. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's mad famous people out here that are globally or, or, or internationally successful that I don't even know who the fuck they are. They could be in the living room. I wouldn't know who they are because that's not our demo. So Andrew Tate, Charleston White, some of these other motherfuckers, Logan Paul, I wouldn't know who the fuck some of these people are. They're not going to cross my feed. You can't put it, Charleston White. I'm giving an example. Oh, okay, you know, yeah, Joe yeah. said, who the fuck is Charleston White? I know who that is. I know he is too. I know who Andrew Tate is too. Yeah. I'm just saying that some of these, Joe might not know who that is. <laughs> no, my thing with you he is. Knows. This is my thing with you. Oh, man. Let's take this. Go ahead. Let me tell you. And you had a little point here. Like, you added perspective to this. But I remembered it because it was profound to me. When the award ceremony came and they put on the movie screen with the Ukrainian president and he started getting his bars off and I was sitting there heartfelt and touched. The next day at work, you came in and shit it on him. <laughs> Surely did. <laughs> why? Definitely did. Now, why? Because that why is akin to kind of what I'm saying about him. About, Very different. About which, which him? Tate, Tate? Or, yeah. or, or the Tate. other two? You came in here and was talking about the agendas at play. True. I'm saying he, And I'm talking about the agendas and at And I play. said that when you are spitting a same type of message, he follows in the, the some of the shit that um, Rogan says. He's aligned with that. Some of the shit that some of these other people that are quote unquote independent thinkers, he follows that. I'm not disagreeing with you. That don't make him wrong or that don't make him crazy because he thinks something different than somebody else. See, y'all think about all this. I'm thinking... Uh, Kevin Samuels is gone Rest in peace mm -hmm. Andrew Tate is locked up And Ish is just Right here Ready to take over The misogynistic I'm not podcast I'm like. not misogynistic I wish you would <laughs> oh, we, we out of here Yeah right We out what is, He not misogynistic <laughs> Yeah I know You know They what? do it Hey all these guys Running free They trying to Get ice out of here <laughs> <laughs> For like, the, I don't know what time What number time this is But no, I'm just saying you. It might be an agenda behind him that they push. It could be, but a whole bunch of wealthy white men with some money are trying to push a specific agenda, and he just might be on a team. That's where the media attention comes from. He got locked up in Romania, and for to your point, who the fuck cares? Why is that news? That shit was on every single channel. That makes no sense. He got, he getting coverage like he Bill Cosby. But it might be an agenda behind that as well. I'm not disagreeing with you. What I'm saying is that he not in our demo, so you might not look at him like he's somebody. It's YouTube motherfuckers that got 80 million followers mm -hmm. that's rich. I don't know him. TikTokers getting mad money. We don't know him because they just not a part of our life. But it's not like it's. this is the first thing that we've heard about Andrew Tate. But it, it didn't start off with, you know, like 
just the mass media coverage of this recent arrest. It started before that. It started with the divisiveness of his commentary and how consistent it, it started with that. It started with the fact that he became one of the 10 banned people on, on you know, on social yeah. media, et cetera, et cetera. So it was a gradual process towards this. You know, he's... But see, I think even that could be... He's hateful as fuck. Yeah, well, look, look, if, if Reza Islam got locked up tomorrow, you think it'd be on every single channel in, in the world? I'm sorry, who? Reza Islam. You know who that is? No. He's He got banned from all the social media forums. Some people think that he speaks a divisive message. I don't. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he would be on every single um, news channel in the world if they caught him in Mecca somewhere. Because the people that run the news channels, though, the message that he delivers isn't necessarily in line with them. Why do the internet think that you can make people be quiet because you don't like what they have to say? I'm not talking about the government. They do. I'm talking about the internet. They do. Who they may be quiet. Besides Daniel Caesar. <laughs> Yo. But he shouldn't have been caving for that white girl. He jumped out. There. He shouldn't have for that white girl. <clears throat> Sit your black ass down. And he got an album coming. I can't wait. No, it's impossible. Once you draw attention to the fact that you want to suppress what one particular person has to say because their ideology is just like kind of not in line with like, you know, the social contract or whatever the case is, that literally is an... It's like a megaphone. It, you amplify their message by trying to suppress it. I absolutely agree with you there. And Andrew Tate, I think that that's part of the reason why we're asking who the fuck is this motherfucker, where he came from, because all of this attention is being centered on him right now. And prior to like maybe like a couple of years ago, this motherfucker was a mystery. Like well, I said, until he got banned, I, I never heard he's a, of his name. Yeah. He, 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 beat, he beat a girl. He beat a girl. With a, he was beating a girl on camera oh, wow. and with a belt and stuff like that. And then that's how it all. He was beating a girl, telling her what to do, making demands. And then they tried to ban him from then. That was an old video. And the girl came out and said it was consensual, but. That's how it started from when I first saw him. Okay. Beating her with a belt on the bed and she was crawling and he was demanding her slapping her on the face and all that type of crazy. Oh, that's like some kink all shit. Right. See, see, I've got to trust my gut instinct from the start. I knew I would never give a fuck about Andrew Tate. <laughs> 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 then they, the world kept trying to tell me, why are you not covering Andrew Tate? All right, give me a second. Let me decipher. Let me see what's up. Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing up. Yeah. And then every time he go to get the kickbox and it's like a sparring match or something, <laughs> nigga, show me the fight. Get, yeah, go get the Show ring. me where your foot ended somebody. I follow all them Instagram pages. <laughs> Was he actually I good? ain't seen him on none of it. They don't yeah. matter because they don't do no fucking credential checking <laughs> on the internet. All they tell you and they'll tell you is record. Yeah, he used to do this. Yo, he kickboxed. He hey, me that. too. He got nine losses and 70-something wins. You seen him? He has nine losses. Have you seen and... them? He has have you losses. seen him? I don't want to stop watch vouching him. for niggas that you ain't seen and that's don't hate. know. You sound like a hater, maybe, man. but have right. you seen them? He's popping, nigga. That's it. That's it. See, we look, talking about he's nigga. so easily for a while. No, he, it's true. He, I don't I fuck don't, with him. No, I don't fuck with this, that nigga. Why are you telling me he's popping? Why are you defending another man? I'm not. Def I'll defend you the same way if a nigga try to stop discrediting well, that, niggas. That's crazy because you stop don't know him. Stop discrediting niggas. Don't stop discrediting. That's wild that you could do that. That's whack. You keep discrediting niggas. Get that nigga the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Get out of here too, nigga. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Stop discrediting niggas. Fuck him. You stole. Line, nigga, gun to tell, huh? You stole his line last time. I you stole his line. He said it. You stole his line. Okay, I don't watch his commentary. I know you don't watch his commentary. You stole his line. And you shouldn't. I don't. Nigga, we had almost had a. I I'm, I'm done. I don't care anymore. I have to go. <laughs> okay. We are back. The JBP. Hey, oh, hey, hey, there you go. There you go, ish. But you got to do the pose when the. Come on, man. Slide it on your pimping, bro. Oh, man. Slipper. Get cinematic on him, man. There we go. Word. Oh, yeah. yeah apparatic. Don't give him, us oh, yeah. paparazzi. Nah, we want paparazzi. Nah, I really like that. that yes. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> mic check, mic check. Little quick regroup. Huh? This for y'all. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shit. Me too. I fucking love See, it. See, we so cultured. Oh my god. We so cultured I was on this just couch. Watching Madam you Butterfly. Drink with your pinky I fucking up. love this shit. It's beautiful, man. Pinky up, man. Only right here at the JBP, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on, Hamilton who? Boy, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hamilton who? All right. We've got a great Ooh. topic brought to you from our cerebral section of the pod. <laughs> That's Melissa. When the clappers are not out. Hootie hoo. 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh. When the I'll, tomorrow, well, on Friday I will then. Oh, why not tomorrow? What? Got to promote this shit. Oh, oh, okay. No, look. Got you. <laughs> no, not the Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, 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 Sensitivity no, training. No, yeah. Not go. again. There you go. Not again. Shit. I might have to go. Okay, no, you yeah, might. No, you, no, you might. do. You I do. might have I ain't gonna to hold go. You. I ain't going to hold you. Yo, you know what's funny? Can what? I tell you something funny? Yes. Yeah. You see these beautiful white couches? Yes. When people wear jeans on them, yeah. jeans bleed on the couches. I know they do. So when I bought these couches, yeah, you didn't I asked know these two gentlemen yeah. to never wear jeans. Know what they kept doing? You guessed it. Wearing jeans. Guess what they haven't worn since you got here? Jeans? Guess oh. who else hasn't worn them? Because you was wearing jeans too. <laughs> That's not true. You can't even lie to somebody and say that. I was wearing two wearing pairs jeans? of jeans in the last eleven years. I'm, so you didn't wear in jeans the last on that, eleven. So you years. didn't wear oh, jeans once. on that couch. Once. Yes or no? Once, yes. Don't say once, no. yes. Say eleven. Once, yes. Nigga. Don't say once, yes. Years. How many times y'all did it? Quite a few. A bunch. We all wore jeans. Is my point. Polygamy is our topic. I don't have time to deal with the defensiveness <laughs> of my cast. I love having a positive the defensiveness effect on the, of my ro- on the room. Like, I, lo- I love that too. Yeah, like now, yeah. polygamy. Polygamy. Is it right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let me give some context. Give it okay. to us. So Let's me go. and my girlfriend were having a conversation um, yesterday. Your low maintenance crew. My low mm. maintenance crew. Okay, shout out to my girl Monique. Um, and she said, uh, I think that you guys should dig into polygamy. And I was just like, okay, like, why do you say that? And she was just like, we started talking about Diddy and Young Miami and the fact that she's also in a poly- polygamist relationship. And I said, Monique is? My girlfriend Monique. Yeah, and I was just like, you know what, bitch? I love you. So you, you yeah, evolved in shit. Bringing the wrong shit. friends around. I lo- Hey, I'll bring I'll bring her hey, on Ma. Friday. Hey, I'll bring her on Friday. Well, no, this is a relationship podcast. She's fun. She's a <laughs> lot of fun. Quick. Yeah. But anyway, so we were talking about polygamy and stuff like that. And she was right. You know, a lot of people have this idea that women find that kind of like a repulsive idea. And, you know, when you look at the comments, whenever Diddy and, and um, Young Miami are, you know, kind of featured or whatever the case is, it seems like everybody wants her to be upset. You know, about the fact that Diddy's still very much visibly doing his own thing. Just had a whole new baby. He's got a couple of new, you know, additions to the roster and whatever else. And she's literally like, and this has nothing to do with me. And I'm still chilling. And he's my dude and whatever. And I was like. Yeah, publicly. Public. So you think that privately she's she's. I don't in a think different it's way. as smooth as you about to try to paint it, but I'm I'm following. Well, let me tell you something. The way that she is, if it in fact is different, does she? If she feels a different way, I love how she's handling it publicly. I love the diplomacy. I love the don't give a fuck attitude. I am getting what I need out of this, or whatever the case is, and I'm enjoying myself. And nothing that y'all motherfuckers have to do or say is going to have any kind of effect on this. I love that attitude. I think it's very inconvenient. Catholic. I think that men feel like polygamy, polygamy as an idea belongs to them. And if women are actually with it, it's wildly inconvenient. Can, can I ask you one question? Uh-huh. What happens if she's not with it? If she, if, she, if she lets it be known or visibly shows that she has a problem with any of this? I feel like... I, her personally, I feel like she'd just get up and leave. She seems like the kind of woman who will literally do exactly. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, listen, if y'all up. know different, no, then I don't know any Melissa me. Ford. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> Melissa Ford. What? Come on. Come on. She's Be gonna, one of the guys. She's just going to get up and leave, right? Why she, wouldn't she? Um, I can give you a billion reasons why she would. Please tell me. Cause you're joking or are you serious? I, dead ass. I fuck with you. Yes. I don't want. Crack him. <laughs> no, you don't want to crack nothing on No. Fam, you can't remotely think that, and no, no disrespect to this young lady, mm-hmm. but any woman from that particular, fam, mm-hmm. he's a different type of rich. Mm-hmm. She's seeing a different type of life. Mm-hmm. She's experiencing things that she's never experienced a day in her life. Mm-hmm. So now you're going to say, yo, based on the fact that you fucking somebody, mm-hmm. I'm going to go back over there? No, not necessarily. But you who, just said based on no, no, what you no, think of but, her, no, but, she'll get up and leave. But but who, when it stops being fun for That's her. That's not what I asked you. I, I said, yo, if she said, yo, I don't want you to do that. We don't know what he would do. Maybe if she gave him some level of an ultimatum behind the say? scenes. What yeah. Do? We don't know what who would You don't do. know what who would do. <laughs> Did he? How, how many years you know Puff? <laughs> well, I mean, are we going I'm asking to... a question. How many years you know Puff? Listen, okay. He was in love first, with. First of all, sit back. <laughs> 
can't first see. First of all, first of all, sit back. Sit back Stop, nigga. I am. All Stop right. it. This I'm is talking to Ma- Melissa. Be nice to Melissa. Though. Always. We are talking about a guy who is getting older, and you know he's. List- I'm trying to give. He's not getting broken. No, I know he's not getting. Okay. So basically, what you're saying is you're as faithful as your options. I'm, you you're as that. committed as your what options. I'm telling you is we know for a fact that he was in love with. Mm-hmm. Did he stop fucking? No. But we're also talking about... Ta- ta-da. Right. Rest in peace. Rest yeah. in peace. Yeah. Fam. Okay. He, what, what young mind are you going to do? Make him stop? Okay. But that's the... That's operating under the idea that she wants that. What if she's literally like, I'm just having as much she fun don't as have he is. And that's what choice. he asked you. I huh? said, if yo, you're here, what choice? You're going to want... You're going to... Even if you don't want it, you're going to want it. You're going to act like you want it. She you don't have to necessarily see, you, act like she wanted, but it I, could be a my way or the highway type of situation. Mm-hmm. And so you're going to pick the ride down the highway. Listen, when she got mad at Act for calling her a side girl and made whatever moves she needed to make behind the scenes to make sure that stopped happening, that told me anything I need to hear. See, because if y'all be, really be liberated mm-hmm. and y'all, hey, uh, this is what it is. He got bitches. I got niggas. We understand each other. We go to church. We do this. That then, don't make me the side girl, though. So she could have felt some sort of way. Well, why? Because who's the main girl? Don't no, matter. He it, never said none of this. So that's that's my point. I'm, I'm not saying who's a side and who's a main. But if you're so happy with all of this city girl free polygamy, ah, 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 <laughs> then them putting a title on you would not upset you enough to make you make some calls to make sure that stops happening. I don't believe that. I don't believe that some of the women, because poly- po- polygamy is a lifestyle, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's also like a trendy word now. Mm-hmm. So y'all teach mm-hmm. it, so girls are just saying it, or people are just saying it without really understanding the culture of what that is. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what it remind me of the girl that does the threesome to keep her dude. Yeah, the girl that this is the new version of that. This is that. This is the new version of I'm bisexual until the girl get in the room. No, nah, I think. I th- to, to what Melissa's point was, she, she's saying women are starting to embrace this. Mm-hmm. Well, I agree. And I think so. I just don't I agree with I, that. And I think that women... I, don't, I think that's a small bl- number. It is, but I think... This is because we kind of going on a tangent. To, with regards to what your original thing was, I think that society is what tells you what's right and wrong. Mm-hmm. True. And I think Facts. that women get judged way more harshly than men. Yes. Correct. So because women get judged way more harshly than men, you got to kind of taper and keep your thoughts to yourself. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or share them with a real small group of people. Mm-hmm. And so men could be out here and you could fuck 10,000 women mm-hmm. and you a stud. Yeah. If a woman fuck 500 dudes, mm-hmm. she's a harlot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now, today, women are kind of blazing their own trail so to speak yeah. so I think it's starting to be more accepted because they could care less about what society is saying mm-hmm. if you were Islamic women wouldn't bitch about a man having three or four wives because that's what was told to you by society right. society is dictating what's right and wrong for us for mm-hmm. most of us mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so because society has said polygamy is shameful it's disgusting it's this it's that it's vile then people bought into that yeah you get what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I understand. So I, your girlfriend has basically got out, not, gotten out of the societal norms to stand on her own too. Yeah. And it could be happiness there. No, she's definitely found happiness in in polygamy. She likes the, she calls it the commitment without the pressure. The women that I know that are involved in that life, they love it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what goes along with it, y'all little new girls and internet girls ain't about to fool me into thinking that y'all built like that. Y'all yeah. not. Yeah. A lot aren't. So, and I don't know how old young Miami is. How old is she? Is she like 28? I don't want to talk to no 28-year-old about she, this. She might. I didn't see No, I'm I, just saying because they, they I, brought up outside of the societal norm. Mm-hmm. Like, like our parents told us, this is right, this is wrong. Mm-hmm. And if you do this right here, you are wrong. Mm-hmm. These young kids aren't necessarily... Um, abiding by what was taught to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like these oh, yeah. young kids is gender fluid and all of that new shit. Mm-hmm. So they kind of are more open-minded to alternative lifestyles. Mm-hmm. Not that she's a young kid, she's 28, but you get what I'm saying. I'm not talking to no 28-year-old about none of this shit. No. That's me. No. You 28-year-olds are still trying to figure out who the fuck y'all are. Y'all still think that y'all have time on your side. They do. It's not Y'all are not exempt. All of us were there. When mm-hmm. I was 27, 28... 
I said to myself, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to find a girl who don't go through my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck this shit. You know, I'm going to find a girl that don't argue about everything. Like, that, that's what I was saying at 28. Mm -hmm. At around 36, 37... You I had a clear assessment of the field. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what I liked, what I didn't what, like, and what, what I could deal with, yep, what exactly. I couldn't deal with, how to go about procuring certain things, how to speak to people. Like, it's very nuanced. Yeah, at 28, I might have felt like there was a lot of threesomes that I wanted to have. At 36, nah. Yeah. Wasn't, same. wasn't the same. At 28, I may have thought I would have responded to certain situations a certain way if I were just talking them out. By the time I was 38, I had been in situations I would have never fathomed. And you kind of know how feelings and emotions and love mm -hmm. and shit could just come in and play. You, and you act differently. Like like you said, you'd have talked it out saying, yo, if this happens, I'm going to do this. I'm out no matter what. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. But now you've been through it two, three times. Yeah. yeah. So, so what I'm saying about grown that, up, like, still grounded in so, what your moral system was from when you were a kid. It's still grounded in, you know what I'm saying, what your... Um, view of right and wrong is what she's talking about is polygamy based on um, a, a, a social acceptance and it's not socially accepted because somebody told you 20, 30 years ago that that's wrong and you shouldn't be doing that would you be able to do it? have a polygamous relationship? yes I'm asking the wrong I flip. doubt it flip I doubt would you be able to do it? no ice I could do it if um, she ain't no <laughs> that's not polygamy. Uh, you ask me that's, that's, that's not polygamy. Parks? No. no. Melissa? That's a lot of work. But to answer the question, no. I want to like try it. it. Sounds like a lot of Like, yo, dog, try it. a lot mm -hmm. of people be swingers. They be happily married for 30 it. and 40 years, dog. Because one of the work. biggest reasons for couples breaking up is infidelity. Would anyone in here swing? No. No. Oh my. They got swinger no. parties and swinger boat parties and shit. Everywhere. Everywhere. I wouldn't swing, but I. I definitely think I could handle polygamy. Let's go, Mel. M4. Yeah. Yes. My homie. Yes. But it would be it would be very <laughs> it'd be very you, what's good for the Don't do that again. That's my, that's don't do that again. That's my original co host. Don't do it again. You signed both at the same time, nigga. That's it. Don't do it again. <laughs> Sorry, Emma. But it would be very what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Exactly. It that's be, what huh? honestly I think a lot of people. Cause how it, listen, dudes is dudes. How let's, interesting let's be, let's do you think? Talk. How interesting do you think that no, the conversation no, no, no. would really, really get? And I'll just wrap it up after this. Is how interesting do you think the conversation would really get if you know Diddy? You know he's got his roster and shit like that. But she had hers. Niggas can't handle Melissa that. Ford, stop but it. But we gonna leave it alone. Melissa Ford, stop it. We gonna leave it alone. I'm you about to saying. make us. You about to make me mad. I'm listen. You to make me mad. Wait. You don't knock it off. I'm just saying. Let's take a brief break know so something? the smoke can stop fuming oh. <laughs> from our heads. <laughs> the fuck. Y'all would have a heart they attack. One hundred percent. So bad style. One hundred percent. You're not getting equality ever. They don't want equality. <laughs> That they want, part they too. want preferential treatment. They don't want equality. They don't want equality. They want, they want beneficial equality. When shit is beneficial, so next time we go on a first date, pay for my food. All right, I'm not gonna say that. You don't want equality then. Stop. All right, I'm not. That's too far for me. Look, she don't like that. She don't like that shit. All right, we're taking a break. Hey, JBP. <laughs> JBP. <laughs> Where would we be without the JBP? <laughs> All right. We are back hey. in with a guest and some bullshit. <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike. Y'all know what I do when this come on in the strip club. Just one of them. <laughs> Lola Brooke is in the building. Round of applause. Uh, 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 uh. Gunshot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, 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 whoa. Whoa. Can you break down that first bar for us, please? I just want to rough Oh my God. On the tongue. He just want to send me automatic with a drum. Wait, on the. Okay. Ask me if I'm finished now, nah, George. Wait, begun. I'm still on the first two bars. I just want a roughneck nigga on the tongue. On the tongue. What yeah. does that mean? You want a munch? That's tough. Yes, a muncher. And he's got to have a drum. Them niggas be eating right now? I mean, he don't necessarily <laughs> got to have it, but I'm just saying, like, most likely that's what he going to want. So let's provide it. So you're into that. I mean, nah, I'm just basically, I'm saying like it's a man that's going to protect me re regardless of it's, if it's a, a weapon or not. Like, I'm always going to feel protected. That's what I'm really saying. Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Lola Brooke is here. Clap it up. <laughs> Clap it up. Clap it up. 
Now, uh, Sav signed you? Was Sav was in that somehow? He told me. I didn't know. I organically started supporting this record that made me feel hyper and tough inside. <laughs> made me throw a lot of money when it came on in the strip club. I was pleased to find out you were from New York. I didn't know at first. I was like, yeah, I, 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 we here on game. Uh -huh. um, what else? You got any more records after yeah, I this do. one? I, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. I'm not playing around. You know what I'm saying? Where, I told them don't play with it, so I ain't going to play with it. Now, where are you from? Brooklyn, New York. What part? Best Side. Side. You heard that. Ooh. Oh, 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 hey. Hey. Oh, Bed-Stuy, do or die. Bed-Stuy, look, Queens niggas shook now. Bed-Stuy, do or die. Queens, niggas, so Queens niggas is scared now. Are you dumb? Are, Are you, you dumb? Are you dumb? Yeah. He's flipping now, right? Nah. Make the same flip no more when I'm here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, the pressure on the walk-in. How long? Like, I've never shook. seen flip like Quiet, this before. Too. Quiet. Your name, about it. Yo, your name flat now. Lo yeah, word. Yes. Yeah, stand still. Like said, your name is Lola Brooke, how long have you been rapping? I'm, I got to get your new artist, so I got to get all my new artist generic questions out. Oh. Um, and you ain't got to lie like we had to do when I got signed. Like. These niggas now be like, four months. I just started. <laughs> six, made this now, yesterday. Like, since I was like a kiddo, since like I had to come in before the lights was out, before the lights was on. Okay. Well, how old are you? Huh? How old are you? They said I'm 32 online, so I'm going to just... <laughs> Shut up. No, they said Sierra was Carl, too. Yeah. He said I was 32. You don't even look 32. I'm not even 30. <laughs> well, we so, but I'm 32. How old is uh, Google said. Yo. We don't know how old the, the girly rappers are. All right, so we won't ask your age. We, <laughs> we won't do that. But you're not your 30. You don't look no, like I'm not 30. So. You look so young. She looks like, like, she like, like a you baby. Look like She's about like 16. And, and no offense, like you, you look old. like you're 19. You are adorable. But you know what? I think they yeah. said I'm 32 because I really study the greats. Mm -hmm. Like, who's, think, who's your idols? Like Meek Mills, DMX, 50. I love the fact that she just said man. Like, I love that. Yeah, women, love. women support women over anything. She didn't even say nothing. She's like, I love that. I <laughs> no, love but she I mean, no, no, no. Did, when I asked the question, did you all not think that she was going to start running off the names of a lot of female MCs? I did. I did. Oh, there no, you go. No. And the fact that she. But girls hate girls. Well, you are quiet over She's there. She's from you, Brooklyn. Huh? She's from Brooklyn. Yeah, and uh, Foxy, like this. Uh, she done Kim. 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 Yeah. Kim. Yeah. yeah, I love them. Yeah. Sure. Like, I get that all the time. I get Foxy all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. How'd you get signed? You said how? Yeah, like, what was the process? You was rapping. You was in your hood. Don't play with it. Don't play with it just was going viral. Really? Yeah. That's so that's the song that got you signed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These fuck. That's insane sure. today, These yo. mongers over here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So the song took off where? Like on TikTok? Um, it was everywhere. First it started off on Twitter, then it went to really? TikTok, then it went back to Instagram. So it was like all oh, social media is just going crazy. Can you put that mic closer to your itty bitty face? <laughs> there we so go. So it went, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the other thing. Your voice just kind of radiates out of that frame. She got a big voice. Boy, she got you have a big voice. That's like my mad voice. My rapping voice is my mad voice. So I sound like that when I'm mad, like extremely mad. So how you sound when you're not mad and when a nigga got you open and you waiting on the text or the phone call and you're like, I damn, be, why he ain't hit me? How you sound when you... I be like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Okay, so you get your deal, and now they working you. They running you. They running you everywhere. I'm sure they called me yesterday. Tell me, tell me how that felt. All of the new artist shit when you got a record that they're trying to work. How's it feel? And what's your day to day like? Like, what is a day in the life of Lola Brooke like today? Yo, what's so crazy is it's just work, uh, traveling, bookings, hostings, uh, interviews, studio. Of course, mm -hmm. that's that's the norm though. But recently, I've been trying to, like, find a real routine every day to keep me, like, occupied, even when I'm not doing the entertainment stuff. So I just started, like, this new plan of, like, working out, eating a certain way and stuff stuff like that. Working out? What are you going to get rid of? Oh, no, I'm trying to gain. I'm, I'm going to gain it, but I need to keep it. <laughs> oh, you want ass? Nah, I just want... Oh, nah, you want nah, a little nah. 360? Oh, yeah. Oh, you want nah. the starter rapper nah, girl just, kid? No. <laughs> oh. no, no, no. I just want, I just want like, um, 
I just want to look toned. Toned. Yeah. yeah. And then I got to build and my strong. stamina up. I'm, 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 you, I be running on the stage. That's right. I, I saw you running on the stage. Yeah, me too. Like a lunatic. So sprint. I feel like you need the endurance. They expect that from me. Yeah. So now it's like, oh, yeah, all right, cool. Let me let me get in the gym now because I don't know how I'm doing that. I be tired. Yeah. <laughs> like, the fuck? Damn, you run out off the intro. Like, as soon as like, your name is said, all you I, take yeah, off. All I hear, Zero uh, to ten. Uh, I'm uh, like, the call out, and I'm so gone. Bro. You're not scared of them using lyrics in court now? I really examined this song of yours. Um, and no, nah, I'm not scared. No, nah, for what? You just oh. asked me. I told you how I go. Come on, let's go. I mean, she's, I don't think she's planning on committing a crime or anything, you know? No, nah, for oh, sure well, not. Oh, let me finish playing the record then. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's go. Are you dumb? Wait, so you're not fucking for free, that means? No, I'm not fucking for fun. <laughs> fun and free is two different things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she's good. She's good. <laughs> she's good. <laughs> I'm not fucking for Uh-oh. fun. Uh-oh. That's right. Yeah, I'm not hey, fun. I like this girl. <laughs> I got. I mean, she has a question. Please, please of course me. he does. Oh brother. Oh fuck, fuck. <laughs> this guy, yo. You're not fucking for fun. What you fucking for? I'm like, like fun is like I'm not fucking the um the help tone my muscles oh. up and stuff. Like I, that's why I go to the gym. <laughs> I don't need to fuck the tone up. For sport. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not doing that for fun. Not, well, at least not from the very beginning. <laughs> gotcha. Not from the be- not from the beginning. We get into that later. You know, I gotta love you, and then it's like, oh, this is fun. <laughs> I don't the, love you, nigga. <laughs> are, the, are the rapper niggas on your body? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Any podcasters? Oh. I don't know. Maybe they. I'm. Sometimes I be confused. Like some people want to rap. They want to produce. They want to do podcasting. I don't. I don't know. In entertainment, I can say, yeah, the men is going wild. Who do you have in your corner to make sure that the evil industry doesn't fuck you? I got my. I got my brothers, the big dogs, Team Eighty. They make sure. They make sure nobody get next to me. I ain't gonna. Front. I ain't gonna hold you. Good. Good. We need that. Yeah, I need that for sure. No, I haven't that. had no problems with. Any of the, you know, like fe- like female artists say that they they face troubles with men in the industry and mm-hmm. being feeling predatory. uncomfortable and being pressured. Mm-hmm. I really, I, I've never experienced that as of yeah. I have not experienced Thank God. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Hopefully. that's a blessing. Hopefully yeah. you won't. Yeah. So would you say sonically most of your music is in the same vein as Don't Play With It? Um, maj- most because this is yeah, drill, but right. I mean, sort of, kind of, not really. It sounds I mean, like drill to but, me. But it's, it's a Detroit bass with a New York, like, bop. Listen, New York just stealing all the sounds from yeah. places. About time. <laughs> I mean, everybody's yeah. stealing no, I from support New York it. for years. I support it. This ain't drill. That's drill. Hold it's up, man. Drill. The tempo ain't drill. This though. is drillish. It's drillish. That's, it's Detro- drill-ish. that's Detroit. Huh? It's Detroit. Mm-hmm. It is. It is. Yeah, I, it's I hear Detroit. Now that yeah, you yeah. say that, I can hear Sav sent me something and said I could play it. Oh. What you said? <laughs> no, nothing like an exclusive. Is there a projection for like when your album's going to come out? Like summertime? She just no, saw it. No, so, no, yeah. no, no. Let me tell you. No. Yeah, she got a hit right Appreciate now. Appreciate so, that. Yeah. Yeah, no. nah. Let that one ride out for a little but bit. But I am working though, for sure. Like mm-hmm. I'm working towards a project, but I just don't know exactly when I'll be dropping. Oh no, you're going to be working but for But I'm going to stay ready until I don't get ready. <laughs> you're going to be working for a while. Oh, for a very long time. Yeah, work is on. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Lola Brooke, Just Relax is the name of this song. <laughs> All right. I see where you're taking the culture. Yeah. yeah, like I tap into everything. That's what I said. Nah, this is hard. That's hard. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Appreciate That's hard. it. I ain't even just saying that because you said it. This is hard. That's hard. And they're going to have some fun with that on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can hear it. It just feel good. I just want it to feel good. That's one of them type of records. Yeah. I'm about to start doing uh, relationship TikTok dances. <laughs> I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah. No. You got it down pack. You've been like I've never practicing? done it. I've never done it before, but I <laughs> but I do want to give it a try. I want to give it a go. What makes you want to try it though? The white niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the, the white niggas. They pick their phone up. They tap their little crew of three, and they hit. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I still got the video of what you 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 and, you and dude trying to do the little. Man, who? I don't know who you're talking about. Safari. Oh, no, don't upload that anywhere. <laughs> Got you. Don't upload that Got anywhere. You. My yeah. man. Yo, how long do you want to be here in rap? Until the engine run out. For real. 
Y'all like, I'm dedicated to it. Huh? That didn't tell me nothing. Like, until I stick, until I mean something to the culture, until I make a big impact towards the culture. So you're, like, passionate about this I'm thing. I'm passionate you about it, You want to stay here yeah. and do it. You're not yeah. just trying to come, get a quick For buck, a come up, and get nah, up. Nah, no, 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 no. Like, I really love it. I like, I really that. love it. That's why I feel like people think I'm so old because I study the greats. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I go back and watch Prince documentaries, Michael Jackson doc documentaries, like... The fans ain't the same like they fans. Mm -hmm. They be they was mm. passing out. It's not possible. Yeah. I want mm -hmm. that. I want my fans to pass out. But I'm we gonna make sure they straight though. We're gonna make sure they straight. But I'm just saying, like they so passionate about them artists, it's like they love them. They really feel like they they best friend. Yeah, that's not fans, like that no more. Fans passing out is a crime. No, 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 <laughs> not like that. I mean, like not like literally like you. pass out, but like. Like they, no, they used to do for out. Mike when yeah. he used to go to no, Japan and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, right. And they like, oh they just God. stand there on stage and Yo, they pass They had to have mm -hmm. mad ambulance. Let me ask them. you Ooh, something. Right. You, you think today's artistry warrants fans passing out? I didn't mean to depress you. <laughs> but see, no, because, oh, because, no, I felt, I feel like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> I'm not even going to answer that. I'm just saying, but I mean, I, like, if, we want, if we want fans passing out, because I feel you on that, right? Like when you're passionate, that is the picture that's in, embedded in your head. Mm -hmm. But to get to that, I think some of the things that some of the artists focus on today is like, ain't, they, they ain't, ain't thinking nothing about it. Well, her that. answer, that can't her answer is saying she wants to be here until she actually makes an impact yeah. already kind of separate her because these, these cats are coming in here looking for a quick, a quick lick. Up. And on to the next. This is, rap is a springboard now. Right. Yo, let me get in the movies. Let me get over here. Let me get in the modeling. Let me get some ads going. Like, I, I don't really care about yeah, the music. Yeah, it's a branch off. Yeah. So the fact that you actually want to make an impact already, you know. Yeah. You're a writer. Different. You you write your rhymes. Yeah, like I write. Yeah? Yeah. You do? Okay. That's what all the girls say. Nah, you can check this. I'm can, talking you can check shit. <laughs> I'm joking. Nah, nah, you can Yo, check you should come here more often. I've never heard him be this quiet. <laughs> yeah, because I got him on a lot. No, 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 I see. No, no, I see. I'm starting to see that, Lola. <laughs> Four boards. I'm quiet because this nigga told me to be quiet. I'm not lying. Stop. Stop. He took, he, right before you got here, he took Yeah, exactly. Outside. Stop playing. We didn't hear what was oh. said. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I'm quiet. Yeah. What's up? What you want me to talk? What's up? You all right? You I'm talking? proud of you. You look nice. You look good. You're making the noise, and I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. That's it, man. Aww. You work hard and shit. Flippy. Niggas don't know you work hard. You work oh, hard. Flippy. See, my voice. My boy you work very hard, me. for real. Thank you. She was outside in front of everything and just trying to get get in where she fit in, and, and, and it, it, she deserve it. That's your Thank new you. thing now. When the girls get on, you show up like I knew you before the fame. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not working. Hey, no, I, I, no lie. She, I was she, just she, telling her off off mic that I, I mixed songs for her. I went and looked. It was 2017. You've been working. My man out there told mm. me we did a video together. <laughs> I worked. <laughs> I was none the wiser. Lola, how do you come up with what you want to write about? And I'm kind of leading towards the fact that when it comes to female MCs, there's a lot of conversation around the pressure to kind of hypersexualize your lyrics. So how do you come up with the things that you want to say and write about, the songs you want to make, and do you feel that pressure? And all of these songs. I don't really, I don't feel no pressure at all because at the end of the day, I'm the artist. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm drawing the art. So it's just how I feel at the moment. Mm -hmm. Like whatever I'm feeling, whether I want to feel like I want to be in love, I'm gonna write about it. If mm -hmm. I want to feel gangster, I'm going to say, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. And then there's times where I like double down and really want to talk about things that people are scared to talk about, like just in general, like the way of life and mm -hmm. struggling mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it just varies. But I'm never scared to express my feelings when it comes to music. That's the only reason why I even picked up a pen. Mm -hmm. So in your spare time, you listening to rap? Um, actually, I listen to R and B. Nigga, don't throw on a little gel. I, I, I wanna I, know. No, I, no, 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 no. I listen. To I wanna know. I, Come on, <laughs> vibe out a little bit. I listen to R and B to go to sleep. I don't listen to rap. <laughs> Same. For real, our straight R and B. Right. She's from Brooklyn. Thank That's you. Uh, <laughs> you know how like when people say Biggie and just figure. bust out singing like old R and B songs. I do the same thing. I just love R&B. I'm you a lover girl, though. Tell them where you're from. From Brooklyn, son. Huh? Queens. You can't <laughs> say that right after telling me you're a lover girl. <laughs> no, but you. But I'm still, I'm just being honest. Like, that's the thing. They say you can't say that because you're so, nah. Did you get anybody with a penis something for Christmas? Uh-huh. Wait, what? 
<laughs> Did you get anyone with a penis something for Christmas? Nope. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. <laughs> nope. I really did it, though. Fuck, fuck Sorry. these niggas. Fuck yeah, it. Fuck them. <laughs> what? Stop, stop playing with her like that, bro. Like what? No access. Nah. You're being invasive. <laughs> I, I, I see what you tried to do. Yeah, Yo, you got it. Don't Yo. do that. Don't Yo. do that. Don't do that. Stole your whole don't shit. Do that. All right, so let's see. So let's see. Today, I don't know what, like, the image is, like... The unsigned rapper that gets on and is looking at videos and listening to the radio and seeing people go on tour and seeing the new crop of rappers out. I don't know what they're like. We used to watch videos and be like that. Need 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 some of that. I need some of the big pimping video. Mm -hmm. I need some of the Ja Rule video, the Ghostface Church. We need some of that. Now, though, what is it? I don't even know what the picture is for a rapper like you get on and what do you want to do the next three years looks like what to you outside of work loaded questions i'm sure you'll find Self, love self somewhere care. in there self-care mm. self-care self-care for sure what does self-care mean to you like, like mentally mm -hmm. like being ready for anything whether you down bad or you up all the way up is like dealing with whatever comes at you is just self care. Has that been because a battle? that's the only way you could keep going? Has that been a battle or a struggle of yours? Yeah, um, it, it it's been a battle. It's been a challenge. Um, I might have struggled with it here and there, but I, I always overcome it though. Mm. She adapts well. You don't have no choice. Mm. I have no Word. choice, right? <laughs> like this is what I asked for. I got no choice but to figure it out. So you're not looking for to live the soft life. When it's all done, shit. when it's all done, I want that soft life. I do want the soft life though. When this shit is all said and done, guys, please. All right, so who rapes you? and rub my feet? And rub mm. my feet. How <laughs> you wear? A three. Bless, bless, <laughs> bless your soul. Bless this girl's heart. A three. A three. What are you going? What are you going rub, yo? Problem, <laughs> your foot, your foot the palm is in, yo. That's funny. It's fine. Duh. Let me see. What else do I need to know about Lola Brooke? All the things I've wondered in the strip club when this song comes on. Let's see. How Let's much you spent? In the strip club? Yeah. When that song's on? Yeah. I throw a little bit. Because that song is normally in the New York kind of drill. <laughs> I, 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 I said. So normally it's a little you, then some Fabi, then Pop comes on, then it's something. They get into their bag. So throw the shit. Whatever I went and got. It's throw up. the whole 500. Throw the whole 500. Throw the whole 500. Throw the whole 500. Have you been out? Tell me about that. Tell me about you being out now that the record is popping. 1 a.m., your shit comes on, and it's, it's that energy. Tell me about that. How does that feel? It feel like it never happened every time. Hmm. Feel like, it feel like the feels like a dream. Feels like the yeah. first. Yeah, time. I be feeling like I'm dreaming. Like sometimes I I daze out a lot. I'm surprised I ain't daze out yet. I sit there and I daze out like, oh, it's real. <laughs> oh, I gotta get home. <laughs> I gotta get home and lay down or something. Mm. But now when I be like, I always still want to do things by myself. My team be like, you can't do things by yourself no more. Like that mm. is out of it. And then I'm so small. And every time I be like, you tripping, you don't need to be there. And they come, I get to wherever I need to be, and they need, they to, need to be, be there. there. <laughs> mm -hmm. what's, been, yeah. what's been the biggest hurdle for you thus far? Um, come on, is just he, staying is he Barbara consistent. Staying consistent. What'd you say? What you said? I said, is he Barbara Walters or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, just staying consistent, like not overthinking and just doing me. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm. Okay. You new artists, bitch. <laughs> Y'all be sounding profound. They do. They do. Wait, wait, wait. What if it ain't broke, hey, Y'all be sounding dope, yeah. I'm like, y'all been in the shit for 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, I watched... Her mentality I got sounds my like she shot. has been, though. Yeah. It took she me said a minute she to get the my grapes. shot. Like, I, I study it. Like, I really sit and be like, all right, cool. I wonder how this go. I wonder how she'll react if it's something that, like, um, I'm not really feeling or, you know, it's everything. It's, this shit is just not music. It's really not. Do you think the job is dangerous? Of course. Made a song about it. 
Yes, it's definitely dangerous for sure. Because you don't know who love you and who don't love you. And then you see somebody looking at you, they might could be admiring you and you think it's somebody else to get you. I want to ask you a Even question. Even as a female artist, you I'm feel not like tough you. enough. Yeah, because you just nowadays the internet make things so small. So if I show something on social media that somebody wish that they might have, and it could be like the littlest thing, like me being around family, you know what I mean? People ain't got family and they like look it at is. you like you know, you just never know. I want to take that from you. You just never know. It could be the littlest thing. All right. Your team bought you like a little taser? <laughs> a little oh, pink, I got a lot. You got a little 13, you got a little 13 volt taser you're going to get them with? I got, I got, got 10. I got something to get them with. Right? Oh, you know, you know, you know, been a drill for sure. Sleep them. See, that goes to my question I can't ask. I, I want to ask it so bad. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, I'll ask off air. Okay. Actually. Let's stop. Thank all right, you. we are back. Can I get a fuck you to all of my niggas and bitches who ain't? All right, we are back. <laughs> we are back with the amazing and very tiny, Lola Brooke. very small Lola Brooke. Mm -mm -mm. She has a record heating shit up. I loved it. I'm supporting her. I'm supporting Thanks. it until Thank she puts whack shit out. Then I'm jumping right off that bandwagon. <laughs> the second that she puts some whack shit out, I'm acting like I never gave her any support. No, you could put me on. You could put you could put me on publicly to the side like that. Shit ain't it, low? No. I'm gonna go back in the lab. I'm not gonna do that. Why? I might hit Sav. If Sav send me a record and be like, "Yo, what you think it is?" I'm gonna be like, "Nah." <laughs> I'm gonna go back in the lab though. Now that little black sheep shit was dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was hard. That. Let's go, Lola. That was hard. Let's go, Lola. Speaking of hard, we were talking about polygamy a few seconds ago. What are your thoughts? What polygamy? Some gotta be hard. <laughs> Right? <laughs> worth, worth a shot. What are your thoughts on polygamy? Do you think that you or any of your new age contemporaries can handle such a lifestyle? <laughs> well, I'm wait, 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 wait. What lifestyle do are you speak do you speak of? She don't know what polygamy is. Multiple wives. Multiple husbands, multiple, multiple, wives. multiple husbands. Multiple partners. Multiple partners. Multiple partners. Multiple partners. Yes. I don't, listen, right now, I don't, I ain't even, that nah, ain't, right. I'm not even worried about that right now. It's <laughs> not music. you. He's saying like, just in Oh, your, you mean like my peers? Group. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't think they care. Um, I feel like, I feel like they, it's a, it's bragging rights. That's just what it is right now. It's just bragging rights. Do you think you could be in a relationship with a man that got multiple women and be fine with it? That's what basically what it is. You think you could fuck with a nigga? It's for bragging rights, man. I feel mm. like some men out here really do just want that one girl, but they just, it's an image. Everything is an image now for social media. That's it. Like, nobody is really living their life the way they want to. It's just to be accepted. That's how I feel. What about the pressure to succumb to what social media thinks and believes? Mm. Because um, as a new act, you have to succumb to some of it, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. You can't just I, come right out and be like, nah, that's what y'all think. I'm not jacking that. Yeah. Of course, I might sit in and dwell on it a little bit. But then when you know you got people behind in your corner that's going to keep it a buck with you and not be biased, you always going to bring it back home. Like, yo, look, listen, is, am I tripping? They right? Is this what's really going on out here? And then I need you to keep it a buck with me. And, they, and if they right, tell me. We're nah, not, they might be a little right. We're not in the industry where uh, keeping it a buck is common practice. Or yeah, that's, <laughs> at all. But see, that's but see, that's why I keep my circle so tight. And just recently, I had stopped and I looked at my my own peoples, and I was like, "Yo, it feels so good to know that in this room, I could feel love. Like I feel it. Like not just knowing that I know y'all love me, but." A lot of people ain't got this shit. Like I'm really loved. Like I could tell y'all love me. Y'all love me different. And I just cherish that and I hold on to it. Even if it's just three people or two in my life, that's cool. I'm straight with that. I ain't looking for no more. You come from two-parent household? No. Single mom. Got it. Where was that? Never mind. I mean, I had a relationship with my dad. He was running the streets or whatever, but my dad was a, a hustler turned addict. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Mm. Common story. Mm. Yeah. Familiar with it. Dude, you, how's your relationship today? Oh, my dad's deceased now. Oh, okay. Damn. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. So. Okay. So how does your mom feel about all the newfound success? 
Man, she be so excited. I be, I'm the one that be like trying to act like, oh, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. And she be like, you my daughter. I only had one kid. I ain't had, like I got, I got blessed with one. You know how many people have like 14 kids and and not one of them they feel is like amounts to anything. They all trash. Yeah. yeah. She <laughs> like, I just had you one. Can't say that. <laughs> all, all 14 yo, I love of new them artists. Is trash. I love new artists, yo. Oh man. She like, I just had one. And she doing God it. loves me, so she be excited. She's gotta feel proud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but some, sometimes I and I don't mean, step on your mother's. Proudness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I got put in my place about that, and I actually reached out to. I reached out to Ado like, yo, my mom's when um they were saying that Pluto wanted to bring me out at the Barclays. She wanted to come like last minute. It, it was a lot. It was about to go through a lot just to get her to and then it's around the holidays I'm like you might not even make it I'm panicking she like but I need to be there I always wanted to be there and I called someone like yo I'm trying to make I'm trying to get my mom to stay in Atlanta she want to come to New York for my performance I'm not comfortable with her coming out and then I'm going on the road after am I tripping they say yo don't take that from your moms and Mm. I was like Mm. you right and then I called her back and then I situate everything I was like don't worry about nothing I situate everything, just show up. Was there ever a plan B? Just in case. Never. My mom's even asked me that. Mm. She was like, so what you going to do? You going to go get a job or whatever? I was like, what? (laughs) I said, plan B is plan A. Mm. And she was like, I was just checking. And I was like, all right. You like to hear that type of confidence and bravado. I'm such a very small person. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, for real. Do you have Napoleon's complex? Do girls get that? Huh? Do girls no. do girls get the no. bowling complex? I don't think so. I think look look at women. <laughs> no, because I mean like every, they don't want they right. always they always right. talk about wanting a shorty. You know, it's like it's you know I like I like being short. Well, I like being short. I like being short. I'm like being I'm short. so sick of you this long. Well, I'm wrong with being shit. small. Yeah, cause you hear my voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I just switch it up sometimes. It's all good. Give me your favorite four voices in hip hop of all time. DMX. Um. Rest in peace, X. Mm-hmm. Oh, Left eye. Uh, mm. Okay. I like that. I gotta be I gotta be very sure how I say this. There's a new yeah. there's a whole new wave of, of women celebrating Left Eye burning that nigga's house down. <laughs> <laughs> That's the energy. Sadi. <laughs> See? Oh, 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 oh. I'm ch- I'm a change woman. <laughs> Wait, you was in this one then? Come on, nah, not <laughs> low. No, 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 no. Uh, no. Oh, oh, no, you, no, 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 to, no. You, what you used to do to men? Nothing. Huh. Be good. Yeah, no. you can't even be lie good. Right. Be yeah, great. Yeah, nah, you can't you even say it. Right. I, be good. <laughs> I react. That's what I do. See? I react. See? No, I can tell. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to a couple of them. Left eye definitely <laughs> reacted. Yeah, I think it. left eye did too. Yeah. yeah, she reacted. She, she reacted. reacted to that motherfucker cheating. She, I, I, I do a lot. Oh. Okay, hold on. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. Come on, guys. Get him. Freeze. Stop playing. Cheated. Playing. You burnt the house down. The whole house. She wasn't trying to burn she, the house down, She was just trying to burn the shoes. She was just trying to burn the shoes in the bathtub. She didn't know that the whole house was going to ignite. So in her defense. I just saw they go to jail for just shooting around. Yeah. He wasn't trying to hit nothing. Mm. They, and they liking that Angela Bassett flicking the cigarette at the car. That was mm-hmm. hard. That was we, such a As soon a as Lola great... leaves, we are on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Buddy. I ain't yeah. going yeah. you, you, you been doing some women empowerment shit that we not feeling? We going to get into, into some Unless of that. Unless they kick me out, I ain't going nowhere. I got you. You have an interview in another 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, that means I'm getting kicked out. Yeah. I'll be back, though. Yeah. You need to I'll be back, though. Call me, call me girl. Tell yeah, me, funny. my one of my final questions to you, right, as a new artist, Sometimes we get that itch and we feel like our album is done, our project is done, our friends in our ears saying, uh-uh, when is it dropping? How much time needs to pass before you feel like, all right, what you niggas doing up here with my album? Like, if we get to summer 2024, no, winter 2024, it's not as far as it sounds. But see, this is the thing. I never dropped a project before. I know, so they're going to So make... I don't even know that... Oh, so wait. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I don't oh, even wait. know that process. You guys, she know. needs us right now. Let's get her team mad at us and tell her the truth about things. <laughs> <laughs> Lola. 
They're gonna try to make you drop a EP, oh, yeah, a EP mix first. tape, mm-hmm. deluxe, a SoundCloud deluxe mixtape. They gonna well, first, try to, well, first, where we at? So you got that record. Hey, when y'all got her you EP got, scheduled for? You got the remix. Because hey, hey, y'all ain't gonna let this record just fall to the wayside. And no, y'all no, no. sent me another record. So got, what's going on? They got the remix. Facts. Oh, y'all gotta remix this record. The, you gotta remix this. Are you remix? Come on, come on. Give us a scoop. Give us a scoop. Give us a scoop right now. Scoop right now. Look, see? <laughs> Who are we working a, on a relay? <laughs> Who on the remix? We working on a remix. Oh. Girls or guys? Oh. <laughs> what, what, whoever submitted first? People. People. Uh, People. Uh, <laughs> artists. That's good. Artists. 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 Sab, don't chime in we from the side. <laughs> we don't. Artists. Don't. Whoever submitted first. Whoever submitted Sound first. like some niggas going to be mad when that remix drop. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, or some I'm, bitches. Somebody going to be mad. Listen, man, listen, I ain't got nothing to do with me. No, mm. listen, I think a remix should come out. Mm. Maybe a remix video. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe a little mixtape, warm warm some shit up. Mm. Like, you have work to do, but it looks like you're well prepared for it. Yeah, I'm ready for war. Even that's, like, telling to me that you keep referring to it as, like, war. You so Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm ready to cry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a gator though. I don't do the crocodile tears, but best three rappers from Brooklyn, not named Jay Z and Biggie. Lola. Okay. Brooke. Not all right. Give me another three. Fox and Kim. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an amazing time here with Lola Brooke. What you did. <laughs> yeah, all See? three women. No, we do. We run the world. So I'm sorry, Joe. Sorry. Brooklyn versus Queens in the verses. Who wins? Brooklyn. Easy, right? Yeah, easy. I thought so too. <laughs> sorry. You know that. Are you talking? Are you here? <laughs> For, <laughs> forgot this nigga was yeah. even here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Why are you doing that to me, bro? Yo, does anybody have, do you have any final questions for Lola? She got shit no, to do. She gets my friend. No, 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 no. I love her, man. I'm proud Associate. of you. Salute. Yeah. No, I'm, tell her. Tell her. Tell her. No, nah, we, we good. We good. That's it's, my brother. So associate. No. That's what that means. Does anybody have any final questions? For, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> anybody have any final questions for Lola? She got shit to do. She can't keep sitting there and talk to us. She is so adorable. Dream features for the album or the EP mm. or the mixtape. There we go. It? Yeah. Dream features. Hey, this is, I, I know y'all going to be like, here she go with this bullshit. I really don't have no dream features for my project. Okay. Like... Like I said, this shit is no pressure. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just going to make music. If whoever get on the album, they get on it. But there's nobody that you would want on your I always wanted to work with Meek Mills because that's my favorite rapper. Like, that's that's the rapper that made me. That's one. You got to stop saying his name wrong if you want to work with him. Yeah, it's just a... I know, we all do it. We all do it. We all do it. They're going to call you... We've been calling Lola Brooks. That's what I'm saying. Lola Brooks. So, they be like Lola Brooks. They still call him Joe I invented this. Joe Buttons. See what I'm saying? So... Yeah, it doesn't feel My good bad, Meek. <laughs> all right, but so that me. means I'm a true fan because we all say Meek Mills. If so, you had a chance to shoot a video in the president's house in Ghana. Oh, <laughs> yo, chill out. Right, I'm asking up. Would you do it? Oh, man. You said if I had a choice to shoot a video? If you had a chance to shoot a video in the president's house in Ghana, would you do it? That's lit, right? Nah, I wouldn't do it. Ah, <laughs> here we go, Lola. Yeah, don't play, don't play with whatever it. Don't play with it. Whatever that was from her team that did like whatever y'all little signal y'all did. Y'all smoked that shit. All no, right, I good, would. good, 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 good. Listen, I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. Oh, yeah, do. Listen, and when you get one or two more records that take off and pop off, and your show prices go up, and you on Jimmy Fallon or the late night shit, don't try to not come back here. No, I'm coming back because I don't like. That. I gotta come back with my girl. What you mean? I gotta come back. And so uh, and us, but yeah, that's right. I gotta come back. All right, mm-hmm. good. All right, good. All right. So let's get a round of applause for Lola Brooks. Thank Not to you. be confused with Big Lola Brooks. <laughs> See? Brooks. <laughs> Damn, you make me want to perform it. Uh 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 uh. Get up. I'll do a hype man with you. Come on, what's yeah, up? Come on. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you doing, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that nigga
Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 you pass out. You're about to have a heart attack. <laughs> Stupid, yo. <laughs> she making me talk. Word. Let me just hold the slide. I'm going to give it back. Oh, shit. I'm going to wait for that money to go. Keep playing around, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Keep on with that running this shit. I forgot how old you was. Old oh, ass. Look at that shit. Cut that shit off. Yeah. Keep playing with your old ass. Hey. We gotta stop sleeping on them TikTokers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, them tic- <laughs> Let me tell you something about them TikTok. That's how you on stage, man. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> oh, you know, fucking stop. badass acting. Why do you get up there? <laughs> God, <laughs> can tell who don't smoke cigarettes on TikTok. Oh, Shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Round of applause for Lord. <laughs> 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 Get your little Jack Willane ass out of here. Fool, yo. Oh. Dad, y'all, sorry. Oh, man, yo. This boy is a fucking idiot, yo. Okay. How you feel, buddy? He's still out of breath. <laughs> you know, it was cute at first appropriating the girl songs. Like, the Munch shit, Glow Rilla. Different when they come here and you got to... Do some of the dances with them. I'll keep that same energy. Yeah, that was a lot going on. All right. <laughs> Let me find the sauce, though. We back. I mean, shout out to Tito. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Melissa Ford, yo. Yo. We let you say a lot of bullshit while uh, that guest was here. Oh, we let you say a lot of woman empowerment bullshit while you were here, but it's fine. How was that bullshit? How was the bar? I don't. My memory's bad, so I don't even remember all the bars. Oh no, it came on. from the left eye shit, and you sitting there. Oh yeah, yeah. Can you unpack that for us, yeah, please? Now that she's not here, now that you're outnumbered. <laughs> unpack what? Well, you were outnumbered before. But. When it's appropriate to be reactionary as a woman and burn a house down. Oh, I you never. Got but no, no, no. I didn't put a right or a wrong on it. I just was basically saying her intention was not to burn the house down. She was burning his sneakers in the bathtub as a response to finding out that he had cheated on her for the upteenth time. So that was her exercising, you know, frustration, um, not using her words. Uh, <laughs> that was her taking somebody else's belongings and igniting them. Rest in yes. peace. Yes. Rest, 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 rest in, in peace. peace. Yes. Rest in peace. And. This started from him saying a lot of women are embracing that. They weren't embracing her lighting those sneakers on fire. Mm-hmm. They was embracing the They're house embracing, burning down. They're embracing mm-hmm. the house fire. So, and men even, would love it if more women spoke out against that type of behavior yeah. well, is this, and not supported it. So, but we yeah. know you're not here to answer for all women. Well, hold on. So is this like the biases and the you know, double standard with domestic violence and that sort of thing? Is that where it the conversation is kind of going? Mm. Okay. Wait, What? <laughs> What did she just do? On the board. Huh? Man, fuck that board. <laughs> <laughs> the biases and the double standard when it comes to domestic violence and incidences that are related to domestic violence. and Because if we're going to be talking about that couple, Left Eye Let's do and... It. Let's um, do it. Um, what was right. the Let's tackle, right. Let's tackle right. this. Exactly. Um, they were tumultuous. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, code Documented. for they used to, mm-hmm. like, get into it. Mm-hmm. Um so a lot of guys feel like there is a double standard when it comes to, you know, domestic violence. Women get away with it, um, and it's not called out. Yeah, because I told the girlies that I was in a tumultuous relationship, and they didn't want to hear none of that shit. <laughs> 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 you saw, <soft. laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Okay, Sam, uh-huh. I saw a tweet just a couple of days ago saying, "Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. It just make me feel good to slap the shit out of nigga." And mad girls was just like, "Yo, me too, sis." Word, yeah, that's just. Yeah, sometimes it just. And I'm like, wow. Damn. And the yeah. double standard conversation. What happened? Yeah, man. Shorty smacked him first. Uh, Dana White. I-, I think he went a little excessive. You shouldn't smack back. Five times. <laughs> but once? No. Really? I don't think you just smack back at all. Uh, yeah, That's I'm, interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm well, that interesting. I don't think you smack a girl back if she's smacking. Not even once. She shouldn't smack you, but you shouldn't smack back. Yeah, but they probably gonna smack you. And even that's toxic to think, but they get a little handsy. I'm waiting for your reply. 
Okay, from my own personal experiences, because like I said, I am not the resident vagina. I am not the proxy for every single human that has a vagina. Yeah. It, I just have got to put this disclaimer Girl, out you there. You have a vagina? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> didn't even know you wanted the guys to me. I know, don't make eye contact right now. Don't make eye contact right now, okay? Um, right now. Exactly, yeah. There was a point in time in which my anger was very important to me, in which I felt like if you had incurred my wrath, you deserved whatever came with it, and that meant hands. A lot of people feel like that. Yeah, and that is a very immature way of thinking. Um, this very unhealed way of thinking. And there was a point in time in which I put those hands on my man and without even thinking immediate response was to hit me right back. And I kind of, in my opinion, if you're going to try to, if you're going to act like a man, you're going to hit a man you, there's consequences commercial that are going to kind of come with it. Oh, 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 wait, let me see. Let me see. Hold up. Give me a second. Let I just don't feel like women can walk around and uh, feel like JBP, they can just JBP, <laughs> hit a guy I'm, I'm, with I'm reckless like, abandon, yeah. abandon and no consequences for your actions. And that's not to say that she's going to get beat Can you beat do to this death. from that couch? No, no way. <laughs> right there, buddy. Wait, please. Right there, don't put buddy. put me right next to Oh, you trying to take this thing to the moon. <laughs> oh, shit. I know, sitting next to you. It's kind of volatile. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo, but listen, I'm not here to talk about should people put their hands on one another. I uh, will say I learned my lesson after that. After that, I never put my hands on anybody ever again. That's just that's just it. I did, only you can say that. But, uh, mm? Let a man come out and say, "Hey, man, I don't even." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's so many double standards with this, and I'm gonna tiptoe right on out of it. Yep. Da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. Here's the because here's part of the double standard. Here's part of the no. Here's part of the double standard is that said guy, my boyfriend at the time. There's no way that he would have been crying foul. He wouldn't have been asking for any support. And look what she did to me. He couldn't. They, it, that's part of the double. Yeah, laugh your ass off the stage. Nigga, what? But you, you guys Man can't. Up. Wait, wait, wait. You guys can't talk about the double standard and not also support people. You know, your men who come forward and say, "Yeah, like I'm being abused." You know, or "Yeah, I was hit. I didn't hit her back." But it's just like, how do you get rid of the double standard unless you acknowledge that it's happening to you? Instead of reacting and, you know, Melissa, we live in a country where men, men can't even express their discomfort around a woman. True. Men can't even say, hey, that person is making me uncomfortable. That person is touching me in a way that I don't. Men can't do that. Why? Because what, what, what happens? What? Because what happens after a guy says that? You know, I think every man in here has been touched by a woman and felt uncomfortable. True. Mm -hmm. That yes. wasn't the person we no, picked to touch us. Let me she tell you violated what violated us, our so, space. Society thinks that we can't turn down pussy. Society thinks that any woman can come in here and rub on your leg and you with it. That we are all just sexually driven deviant. Neanderthal yeah. deviants that are going to fuck anything. So if a woman comes in here and rubs my leg and it's like, yo, you know you're a fucker. No, I won't, fam. So, so if you cry foul, you gay. Yo, that used to be the best part of truth of truth back in the day when I wasn't talking to you. Like a group of girls would come over and somebody say, <laughs> somebody ask or something. She's like, oh, no, nah, all these niggas in here fuck me. I was there one time. Imani tore this girl's ass. Oh, up. you was there for that. Imani we pissed her up. ripped this girl one time. He damn near had her in tears. Like, but nobody most, in here will fuck you. But most women, well, yeah. But most <laughs> women think like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why, if you're asking, that's why we can't express that. Because who serves that when we share it? Sure. Or there's nobody there to be like, yeah, yeah, he's right. But yeah. that is my problem. Listen, nobody should put their hands on each other, right? Y'all yeah. don't need this podcast to come in here and tell y'all that. My issue with the Dana White stuff is I don't hear y'all. True. I don't hear y'all. True. So the, fact if that, the, the, the fact that she smacked him first and mm -hmm. he smacked her back. I don't even, I don't even care about that part. Okay. Girl, I I'm care about this. I don't hear y'all. All of y'all that been tweeting to get rid of ice. <laughs> All of y'all that been tweeting. Y'all been tweeting some shit. All of y'all that's normally loud, the Antonio Brown loud people, all of the people, we've had many examples, the Kanye loud, yeah. all of the louds. Where are y'all now that billion dollar big dick whitey walked through the door and punched the shit out of his wife five times publicly? Where y'all at? I don't hear that part. I'm going to keep it a buck. Your man and them was supporting him. Who's my man and them? Be careful. I'm, 
<laughs> like, yo, I know him. He's a really good guy. I He's hate not that. that type of guy. I'm gonna I fuck y'all up taking my little takes, but I'll be telling y'all. <laughs> hey, you saying I'm you don't hear them? You acting like you shook. You talking about double standards and not hearing them? Well, I, I say all the time, where were they when that Solange Jay Z elevator footage came out? I didn't hear a peep. Uh, not, let, not a let peep. Let it have been reversed. No, fuck reverse. Let him had mushed her off of him. True. Well, just that. Just get off me. Well, they tried to revive that backstage footage. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, they tried to say he mushed the somebody. Movie when he was joking around with old girl, he playing like, with his ah, friend. With his friend, and they but they clipped that part. They clipped they tried, it yeah. for the new people that wasn't outside when backstage was out, and they was like, "Look at Jay Z mushing a girl or putting mm -hmm. his hands on a girl." That happened. I don't remember that? Why don't I hear y'all with this Dana White stuff? Ish for the Stephen A. stuff, right? That was going to get tricky before they said a word because you know UFC is doing uh, big business with ESPN. So mm -hmm. how y'all report on that? It's got to probably be a little different. Shut I just up. didn't expect it to be this uh, different. In amount of times, we've had to address subjects like this. We have to maintain consistency in pointing out, you do not put your hands on a woman if you are a man. I had to look up you what consistency meant. Dana White knows that. And, you know, all I can say is that, again, he has spoken out against men who put their hands on women before. And whatever punishment you would exact, under these circumstances, this is somebody gloves. else is what and he they should get apply to as he goes on. But I, I love I him. I could see him I, doing something I, even stricter. Just yes. because I thought Molly would come in and be the woman voice you know, like she and normally he's the leader is. Of men. So just yes. to your point, not just what's enacted to a fighter. He's a leader of men. A stiffer they called him. because he's the head. I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, they talked about being. Um, drinking heavily. Yeah. When you're under the influence, not shining moments, often people don't Please make it. Police wide open. In sense, it's, it's a cautionary tale. Yep. And so? in terms of it being an isolated... Well, where were they when I was fighting the allegations? Yes. The utmost respect for him. Yes. Um, and I don't judge people by their worst moment. I agree with you on that punishment <laughs> part. And, and the other piece that I just want to say, <laughs> as a woman, it, it was also... His wife's hands on him. So no, uh -uh. no one should be putting their hands on him. <laughs> I never even heard that one female, before. Female... Man. I never heard that one. Well, like I said, you're absolutely right. I, I don't. Disagree. And this is the kicker. I have nothing to add other than Steven's my I man. Just think it's but we got to be consistent. If you uh -oh. Sit on this platform. You 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 owe it to your audience to be honest. Yeah. To be honest and forthcoming. Give us some honesty. Dana White is not just somebody we, I know in sports, nor you. He's a friend. Police store is wide open that day, huh? Ladies and gentlemen. That was one of that was one of my voice. that was one of my media inspirations. Very prominent figure for us, large platform, but that's still Disney. That ain't his platform. That ain't her platform. That's Disney, and that UFC check clears. So now, while I'm sure we all are against these things, I haven't seen Dana White's name typed since on the internet. Since the day it happened. No, I haven't seen it. Is. I haven't seen a Shade Room post, a Hollywood Unlock post. I haven't seen a Jasmine brand post, a Baller Alert post. I haven't seen any posts from any of these places, right, that normally tear down black people and black matters. What's the difference? Well, they're probably saying that this is white people shit. Could be. Or could be some money behind it. Could be. No, the black some, I'm not talking about to them. Some, yeah. some, some, some other platforms. There could be some money behind it. Yeah. Stephen A. Smith didn't raise his voice. <clears throat> he did not raise his voice, my nigga. Call him out his name. I sat. He ain't call him no names. None of that. He called, I, him, a, he called him a friend and a leader of men. A leader of men so, and a friend. So is this a black and white thing we speak no. of? No. Oh, okay. I, don't, I'm, I ain't talking about that. I, I watched him and heard him mm -hmm. persecute Kyrie for two years. I watched him persecute Kyrie for, a lot less. for two years for way for less, less. For, for deciding what goes in my body. He basically told Kyrie to pick the basketball team over himself and his family. And you sit here and you can't handle Dana White with kid gloves. The fuck out my face, B. I'm with Ish. I hate when he uses the fuck out my face. I hate B. when he uses that voice that I can hear the vagina drying up out there. But he's right. <laughs> he's right. He's right. Mm -hmm. Do what? The problem, <laughs> the problem I have though is that. We are scrutinizing Stephen A for his opinion, 
right? On how you feel because it's no, we not. No, we not. That's the other problem I got. No, we not. Nobody has said anything about the Stephen A. Hold on, hold on. For his kitty gloves, for his kitty gloves, but like Joe said earlier. He diverted from I don't care who hit who first and all that stuff. We don't want to get down to the bottom of the biases of domestic violence because that's just what it is. We want to now we're going to stick on Stephen A and say, okay, Stephen A didn't get at Dana White. So why don't we get at Dana White? He, his wife slapped him. He slapped her five times. Do you think it's right or wrong? That's what it happens. Do you think that it's right for a woman to put a hand on a man and not no. get nothing Back, we should what walk away in the club after she slapped him. You should walk away, yes. all, all the time. Okay, yes. you should so always walk away. That's from, that's from a lesson that you learned, right? And that's from a lesson that you learned because we all experience fact. Uh, uh, Absolutely. back thousand, and forth with our significant other, right? Yes. Thousand percent. How I does, was the person that had to learn the hard way as well. How old is Dana White? I, I, I have no idea. I don't know anything about him. I don't watch. He's you were sixty years old. He's sixty. He's sixty or fifty nine. He's fifty something years old, yeah. right? All yeah. right, cool. So, I, th I think I can attest to many people in this room saying that we have had issues where we didn't handle domestic violence in the most appropriate fashion. Facts. I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. I agree. I wasn't a fucking couple hundred million dollars up. I was a teenager. And even if he did that, cool. What I'm talking about is the person that the, is reporting it, mm -hmm. not handling it with the veracity that he handles shit that is way more minor. So if you can elect to show restraint on that, I need you to show the same restraint to these fucking young boys. Yeah, I don't want to hear shit when LeBron missed a free throw now. Fuck is you talking about? It's, it's mm -hmm. the same thing with the white cops that we see that they, they itchy. They, somebody could just come out the house and be like, fuck y'all cops, bow. But then I seen white people chase cops with bats that got guns and the cops be running. That's mm -hmm. a fact. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. It's the same. Treat the shit the same level. Yeah. That Dana White shit is disgusting. There's Come no on, other way yo, around knock it. it off, There's no man. way around it. I agree. There's, there's no way to sugarcoat it. There's no way to tiptoe around it. Like, it'd be bullshit going, hey, shit, the girl, I don't know nobody's name because I don't, but the girl that lied and said her baby daddy was molesting the kid or, oh, or yeah. that got the kid to lie, all of that uh, shit. FTN Bay and uh, Duty Law. I ain't heard a word about that. Ain't nobody even talking. He's told. suing her. Now, For 30 I mean, he's good. And she's and she and, mad about and, it. She mad. And she's mad he's suing her about mm -hmm. it. And then said, um, she now labeled him a snitch. A snitch, yeah, she called him a rat. Called him a rat because part of something. She did know, call him a rat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why are we on stupid so nigga fuck shit? <laughs> why, are we on, why are we on stupid oh. nigga fuck shit before I forget? Uh, they shot a video at Big Scar's funeral. What? Mm. <laughs> I can show it to you. Social Who media did that? I can just, show it. No, I can, just just not, just, not, 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 who said nothing? I'm just showing you. That. Who did it? So Beyond just repair. so just so we're clear, now you wanted Gucci to send money in for the video shoot. <laughs> just to unpack this for y'all. This is crazy. Oh, here we go. This, this uh, we go right when here. you thought it could get no crazier. Word. Oh, like a bit. Yeah. What does it say? Twitter reacts. Twitter reacts to Big Scar's brother reportedly shooting a music video at his funeral. Hey, whoever my handlers are out there, when the day comes, it'll come for everybody. Don't do that. Me? Sure. <laughs> Listen, bro. I'm I'm my, I'm my zero content. <laughs> I might kick in the door pumping it up, yo. Not you. You ain't even do a dance with me and Lola just now. That's yeah, sure, you. right. You know I But would. why you didn't? I wouldn't if, if you are flipped, that's my problem with y'all. Expensive cast. If anybody here <laughs> would have gotten up and joined me, out of here. Why y'all won't do that? We was out of here. Boy, you old. Okay, boy, he's older. <laughs> and you. Young. It's fine. You didn't do it. Yeah, he do that. that. You laughing. He didn't do that. He didn't do that. You can take the heels off. You do that. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Oh, then we was really out of here. Melissa Ford, Lola Brooks, Joe Budden. I should have done that. That was crazy. Come on. You had said the you had said earlier the big pimping line, like, and I kind of felt the that the plug, you know, I respected it. You said something to Lola, like, you know, we look at big pimping and and you know. What? She was in that video? Yes. And you know her whole video that was biography. Fire, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Why you, you know really, her whole you really, videography yo, though? Hold video? on. You really a rapper though. You mm -hmm. got so much Jay-Z who? Huh? Give me that what? You that nigga. Oh, can you stop? I was, you <laughs> fire. I saw what you did. You're gonna get me in trouble. Stop. I loved what you did. Cause Big Pimpin' is not even supposed to be talked about. Listen. The nigga went publicly and said he's ashamed of the video, but he plugged it in because Melissa Ford is here. Mm. Listen, at 20. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the same of the video? Jay-Z 
denounced that video. Really? No, the song, not it's the video. Not the, video. The, the, song, the song. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, Melissa. Thank yeah. you. Because he, he has daughters now. He has he's yes. daughters now. Thank you very so much. So his mentality is very different from that of 20 years ago. Do you agree? Um, but he is not mad at that song, video. Man. Nobody is. It's a great so, song. I still want to answer to why they're so quiet on Dana White. That's just stuck in my head now. It's stuck in my head. I can't get it out. Did you, you say know the answer? You already said the answer. It's bread. Yeah. It's money. Is they women? Is that what you're trying to say? No, no. no they is like media. society. Yeah. Everyone, Just society. Everybody. Everyone. Everybody. Everyone. Like, okay. It's right, not a gender right, thing. Rightfully so. Before somebody misconstrues my words, as we always do, when Ray Rice assaulted his wife, mm -hmm. everybody was express Dog. shock. What? Everywhere. That shit was on for months. Yes. Yes. <gasps> okay. He's never played another down of football. Mm -hmm. And again, maybe rightfully so. I'm not the judge and jury. I'm just pointing out the differences in the media attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, come on, dog. I now agree Danny with Danny White is a, ain't he like an MMA? He, 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 he trains, right? He's this fucking big. Come on. I now see what you're saying. You know, a lot of times I feel like, you know, we like to, not take accountability, but blame the other, blame the yeah, white man. I don't do that. But, but old, but, powerful but white see. men don't pay the consequences for their actions. Like I, we just had a president, Trump. Like what the fuck? Like mm. we, this is this is this is not something that is you know a secret. True. This is not something right. that is brand new. You know, old white men with power and money do not pay con the consequences for their actions. They just don't. It That's gets true. swept under the rug. I agree. People pa pockets get padded. Story gets and, left, and that's kind of what. And I we mean. stop talking about but, it. But the pill, but the person. Yeah, but not if it's black man. Let me yeah. throw some race in there. And the person yeah. that's yeah. sweeping with the broom mm. should shut the fuck up. Then when a black man do something, but that's hold, my, and no, that's more. They, that's less. Go, but, but that's that's just an idealistic world. But that ain't what's going to happen. Vince McMahon got in trouble recently. I mean, he's back now. But Vince McMahon, <laughs> what you just said, Vince, he's back now. But Vince McMahon was scrutinized Wall Street Journal and everything. Mm -hmm. Paid hush money. So there are billionaires that are. Getting he stepped away from, from WWE. He did before. for the sale purposes and stuff, but he's back. But he still, it was, they were on his ass. Did it hurt him? No. No, it Ray. didn't hurt. But we're talking about media. Ray Rice is somewhere being a gym teacher. What? He was an all pro running back. He's somewhere teaching gym. Dog, in the Uber doc, while he was trying to fucking gather capital and get his business off the ground and get drivers and just, he was trying to build. <clears throat> it was like a team of women in there that was saying, yeah, this guy sexually harassed me. Yeah, these people, he sexually harassed me, right? And they just kept shoving it under the rug, shoving it under the rug, because everybody knew the money that was coming mm -hmm. when Uber finally got this shit off. So I, I guess my question is, same with Dana White and UFC, I'm the last person that should ask this. But it's my pod, so I'll ask. In some of these instances, do the people feel like fair exchange, no robbery? I think they feel like, like Dana the, White has given us UFC. I think they feel like the ends and ends provided for the all of these men and these families. And so, yeah, you hit the girl. But, but that's UFC. Football, com more, comma, football. But. Yeah, football, more the same. Hey, do, do we want our NFL? Taken away. Same with Uber. Mm -hmm. Hey, all y'all out there, I'm asking y'all the 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 picket sign warriors. Mm -hmm. How do y'all handle that? Like that's a serious question that I feel like should have been asked on podcast many years ago. Mm -hmm. Do you make that trade? If the Uber dude is not sexually harassing the people in there, it happens. Well, you'd like to think that you can still get an Uber in without our, that in our day to day lives. It, it is a question of. Morality versus convenience or morality versus monetization. So, I'm gonna clap it up a lot right now. Mm -hmm. No, come on, clap it up a lot right now. My nigga, think about this, right? The January 6th shit. Insurrection. Insurrection. Mm -hmm. Imagine if they was black. You can't imagine. They would have mowed them right? down yeah, with AK 47s and AR 15s. Some it's of the niggas is not going to jail. They, they getting community hey, service. They, they wouldn't have let y'all centralize hold on a website. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> could, you couldn't even protest. A black person being killed by the police mm -hmm. without them out there in riot gear. I don't think <laughs> go walk up them steps with five of your friends and let me see what happens. <laughs> the fuck? Word. Yeah. So it's somebody just, call Meek Mill. Let's find out. Every day, yo. <laughs> yo you <laughs> dog, um, that's funny. It is that's hilarious. hilarious it? We laugh. <laughs> Talk about dog. What the hell? No, like yo, it's just it's just yo. 
Do you, we'll overlook it. Donald Trump ran for president. He said, yo, just walk up to him, grab him in the pussy. While he was still running. Running for president. He didn't even win yet. No. <laughs> and, and white women still voted for him. Yep. If Barack Obama would have, they got mad at Michelle Bar for having her shoulders out. And Barack wearing a tan suit. It you was don't, fuck you're talking World about. War III. You do know you don't have to talk to me about nothing domestic violence related, right? <laughs> I know I'm just saying. You don't have like, to tell me. None of it. I see 22-year-old people. Do that. Shut up, Joe Biden. Need your allegations. <laughs> wait, wait. I start doing math in my head. Wait. <laughs> you wasn't even born. Like, you know, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you niggas done heard some shit, read some shit. It just gets to carry for fucking years and years. No statute of limitations. Y'all ain't vet the girl. Y'all ain't never heard from the girl again. The, no the girl is in a hole somewhere, never to be heard from again. But these allegations just stay with black men. I don't like it. You better make an app, nigga. Get Jober. Shit will go away. Mm. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. Do, do you feel like um, Javante Davis, baby mother shit? Yeah, and, and Brett Favre. I'm Get sick of all these words. And yeah. Brett Favre is another Still ain't heard nothing about that. Fuck y'all, yo. <laughs> fuck y'all. I'm not firing ice. <laughs> now what? I came here a couple weeks ago and said, hey, what happened to the American Apparel nigga that was nasty? They got an online print. They got him out of here, right? It was like, no, no, no. We start Googling, looking it up. Know what I find out? American Apparel owns Gildan. Know what you niggas at home is wearing? A fucking Gildan. You fire ice. <laughs> they really try to get rid of you, huh? Niggas talking about fire ice. Niggas was 11 years old in 2010. You wasn't there. You wasn't there. How many times do you want I niggas to apologize for some shit because you found an old tweet? Okay, I'm sorry. We can't. Cont no, no. Off mic. Off mic. Because it was wrong, but he apologized for okay, it. Whatever okay. he said, he apologized in 2015. But that's my other beef. Yeah. You niggas always go dig up the tweets and never do the old research. If you ain't science, he'd apologize. You get digged up once. Yeah. No, nah, my thing was. I that. had to go find it. Oh, no, shit, this nigga was sorry. <laughs> so my, thing, my thing with that is, and I've been consistent. You know, I've told y'all, I said, I've said things in the past, I didn't know. Just bad taste, bad jokes. Had people tell you, yo, my your words, I know you. I know you personally. I know you. I know you don't but hey, you don't think this way. I know you're joking, but your words really hurt me. That's what fucked me up. Cause I'm not looking at it that way. We all was bugging out back then. I'm like, yeah, true. it was wild, wild west times. <laughs> so I'm like And y'all profited off every fucking second of it. Suck dick. I'm sick of it. You know how many brands and companies Blew up because of the attention that black Twitter brought to something. Mm, How do y'all think that black Twitter gained this power? Acting like white Twitter? No. <laughs> Niggas was foul over there. And you was the mayor. <laughs> we was foul over foul there. Sure. <laughs> in, in good fun for the most part. <laughs> no. Not a part but my thing is this. Ice is saying that he had to talk with some uh, black women mm -hmm. in his life and they checked him. Cool. That's enough, right? But then, but then, he had a daughter. He had a daughter. Suck a whole <laughs> dick. Here's my thing, though. This is the last thing I just wanted to say. I always believe the best apology is change behavior. Agreed. Me too, but not on the internet. They don't believe that. And that's the whole part. Like, yo, I, I've actually came to the forefront a couple of times of some issues, and they was like, nah, nigga, we don't want to hear from you because you said this before. Okay. Like, what do you, what do, you do in that situation? Some people, like, even now, oh, you going to apologize? No, that's, y'all you, you, don't want an apology. I can apologize again right now. That's not what you want. I'm it means nothing. These niggas trigger me. I get mad. Hey, I'm <laughs> on you niggas all year. Yeah. I ain't gonna front. I'm they on y'all all, all, all year long. That's all they want? They no, but then my nigga drafted him up. Oh, he works for Joe Biden. How's he gonna get that, 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 that. Like, I didn't, hey, I saw them jokes in 2010. I never tweeted nothing. 2011. <laughs> Whatever it was. That, yeah. 11, yeah. I didn't say none of them. Why they put me? in? Hey, he works for Joe Biden. Why you think Joe Biden? No, let me in. No, no, y'all don't run my shit. I had to run my own shit because y'all been trying to cancel me for twenty years counting. Every year, not, not this true. one. I'm, 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 no, 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 I'm yeah, clean yeah, this year. Yeah. Uh, I'm four now. I'm chilling now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other. Hey, got my little four out there. You know, Joe doesn't work well, well with the girls. <laughs> These niggas. <laughs> no. I'm gonna unplug my router. Got a trick for y'all. <laughs> I got. I got a trick for y'all. <laughs> you know what's so interesting? Being a woman is. Said, you know, being a woman who's friends with somebody like Joe, or somebody you know, somebody who's had you know public um, 
you know, allegations, shit. allegations, stories, stories mm. et cetera, et cetera, um, that are related to that. That. Okay. Um, people come after you for associating with, with that person. Like, like it happened to you, you know, it, you're always put in this awkward position mm. to defend the actions of somebody else that you've never seen you don't know if they're true you it's it's just not a part of your interaction with them and it's you're supposed true. to you're supposed to throw them away because mm -hmm. society kind of says that you're supposed to like the whole morality and convenience morality and or your and your brother be beating his girl ass Exactly. You won't throw your brother away. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or not. The ju concessions not that we make. Not just your brother. Yeah. Your husband popped you in the eye last year. You yeah. ain't throw him away. Yeah. The concessions that we make for others in our lives when nobody knows because all that stuff is done in the dark. Not, not even just that. The morality it, it, it's, be it's, fake, yo. Bro, it's, it's literally. Man, they paint pictures of black, when black they, men wrong. If I, if, if, the, if I love this person. I'll turn. I'll turn a blind. You're the morality. You know it ain't what? even. But I'm sorry. It's yeah. not even just family. It public figures. I, I, here's one thing that confuses the shit out of me, and I, maybe I'm fucked up for thinking this, but Chris Brown. Chris Brown is a lightning rod for controversy because we always want to apply the actions, um, his actions from you know 10, 15 years ago, or, you know 10, 12, what years ago or whatever the case is. But then we put a TV show on with two people who literally kind of like beat on each other. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? I know what you're talking about. I watched that show religiously. Oh. Oh, yeah, that show. Yeah. yeah. Every Sunday. They romanticize that bullshit. So they, yeah, exactly. They're romanticizing the quote unquote tumultuousness, but really honestly, it's glorifying domestic violence. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. I, Did I, you watch that show? No, I will, I, no, I will not last, subscribe to that, that shit. I the can't. The last episode, she cracked him upside the head with a Henny bottle. Split his shit. And then right. sitting there like nursing him like while talking. Like, oh, why do you make so, me so I, I, Oh, which is, oh, pardon me, which is right in line with uh, the video been floating around a few days ago. Girl, bust a nigga over the head with a bowling <laughs> ball <laughs> yeah. and then bowls a strike. And then all the women out there was cheering and on. I, talking I'm out, telling you, Did bro. you see that strike? You're lying. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I no. cursed my girl out. <laughs> I curse my girl out for sending that to my phone. No bullshit. Stop what sending was, stuff to my phone that you know I don't want to consume. You what, know me. You know my brain. What was her opinion on it, though? She was showing me it like, oh, take a look at this. Watch all the way to the end. She didn't really share an opinion. Uh -huh. She just showed me this video that I later found out everybody was sharing. Yes. Yeah. That video was, that everywhere. was, it was everywhere. It went everywhere. But I get uncomfortable looking at that. I don't even want to see it. A bowling ball? Mind you, he was there bleeding. And that's what he believe now. Know. She bowled a strike. All the women that's go, what oh, you know that I'm the equality to... shit is bullshit. Well, I'm just trying to. Fit. Was she arrested after this? Who because knows? She no, no, because if you're a man and you go rat on her, you're a no, bitch. She committed well, we, well, a crime we, on camera. Well, well we don't so know because they we never show us the follow up. Yeah, you don't. Hear we only get to see the popping part from the ring camera. <laughs> or for your phone. You get what I'm saying? But if you if you're a man and you go rat, you're a bitch. I got a couple more. Yeah, Melissa got, me, <laughs> Melissa got me riled up with this Teen Summit shit. She's talking about trying to have a nice, fun Word, pod. Man. Come on, man. Call that black dish and shit. What happened? <laughs> Let me look up here. Anything going on up here? Ant-Man. Ant-Man. It's all double standards, yo. It's, That's listen, I can't lie. It is it, it is a double standard because I I look at a video like that and I'm thinking, did she get arrested after the after the after the incident because she deserves to? The wild part is we be. won't even know. Huh? We won't even know. We they, don't, they don't share that shit. We don't that know. That shit was violent. Very. Bro, she rocked That him. shit was in... She could have killed... Him. Whole head was no, bleeding. she could have killed leaking. him. Yeah. She could have killed him. She could have killed him. She could have. And then bowled a Yo, let me ask you a question. We're going to keep it all the way real now. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not ending this. All right. <laughs> if he would have got up and knocked her fucking head off, what would have happened? I want to know what the people's response would be. What's I'm sure that there would have been a whole lot of people out there saying that a, no matter what a woman does, a man should never put his hands on a woman. I don't, I personally do not subscribe to that. I don't. It's, if it starts out with somebody, with a, regardless of gender, you committing an act of violence against, against somebody and expecting that there is no repercussions, you're fucked up. You are a fucking mess. That's just, that's the bottom line. Oh, she slapped him. 
Yeah, that's what we told yeah, you. Yeah, he was bleeding. He was, he was unconscious. Leaking, bro. He was leaking. I keep trying to change the topic. Yeah, we're I'm clearly. I'm busy. <laughs> oh, yeah. All okay, right. all right. Bleeding. You're sweating. Yeah. You it's are. Just, it's just, okay. It's okay. It's fucking okay. nasty. We got you. Thank you. It's okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Tory Lane's got a new let's lawyer. Let's lighten this shit up. I was going to say, let's lighten this shit up. All right. <laughs> let's go uh, else, man. Tory Lane did get a new lawyer. He did get a new lawyer, though. Rightfully so. Maybe he should have had that lawyer before the court proceedings. So, his. um, And this is the lawyer that represented. Suge Knight. Suge Knight. Snoop, stop it! Because they said that that lawyer is mad about that going around. That because Suge Knight is currently in jail for manslaughter when he ran a guy over the truck. The right. lawyer wants people to know that he did not represent that. him in that case. He yeah. represented him in the '90s for some shit. Right. So Tory's um, previous lawyer, Duke. He, yeah, that's what we call him now, Duke. Duke. Because <laughs> he was making it seem like, no, this I don't do appeals. So because I don't do appeals, he needed to get a new lawyer, and that's why he got him. It wasn't like. Tory, Tory fired him because he lost. <laughs> yeah. Holy mm -hmm. shit. Quick tangent that you just reminded me of because we started with Babyface. Do y'all remember when Babyface looked at Teddy Riley and said, oh, you did this? And Teddy Riley said, yeah, it's the remix. And he said, oh, I don't do remixes. <laughs> 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 he said, well, what's that? <laughs> yo, we need to fuck Babyface up out you talking to Teddy Riley. <laughs> so, yo, the show? You did oh. the show. What were you, 12? <laughs> yeah, he was. I might like, go back and watch like, that. that was they, need, the best, they need to redo that. That's some of the best guy shade I ever seen. No, they don't. Nah, they don't man, need to redo that. Nah, they got to do, do that to do it right. Stop doing that to our greats. Don't, don't do, do it that right. to Teddy Riley. Teddy, do yeah. it right, man. Don't do that to Teddy Riley. Do what right? Babyface had COVID. <laughs> Stop, playing. Stop playing, yo. Remember, he had COVID. Came in there with the motherfucking burgundy velvet, looking like a yo. Don't that nigga do that. made Teddy Riley lose his Wi-Fi, yo. Yeah, yo, I don't want to talk about chill it. Out, yo, but anyway, yeah. as you were saying, because you were saying something that made me think of that. Yeah, I was just um. So his previous lawyer just you know trying to I guess I won't say clear his name, but because people was like, oh yeah, aha, you got fired because you you did a bad job with the case, and he was just like, nah, I just don't do appeals. So he had to get a new lawyer. He got paid. To say that? No, he got, oh, he got paid. paid. He got paid, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whether you won or lost, did a good job, bad job, he got a check. A few of them. Yeah, but you do a bad job like that, that could affect you going Other forward. Other dudes don't want to hire you. Won't nobody fuck with you. So, yeah, I wanted to keep my name looking a certain way. I Let wonder me. if Tory knew this guy's I don't do appeal rule before this case or I, during this case. As confident I, as they seemed, he might have. No, be, he didn't think he was going to need an appeal. Exactly. exactly. But let me, well, let me tell you. I, I wonder if Tory knew what his charges were. Well, we should have. Honest to God, yo. The more I look at it, I'm like, I, it, it almost looked like none of them niggas knew what the charges was. But they was fighting something different. If you represent me and we lose and I got to go this way and you go that way. <laughs> I need some bread back. <laughs> I'm calling you back. Oh, yeah, I need some bread back. No, you're not. The case is not over. You get your raggedy ass back here. I'm saying, if you tell him you don't do a the appeal, appeal better paperwork. be written in your briefcase oh, you know. as a just-in-case. Uh, I got a diss track coming about you then. It was. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, as a yeah, just-in-case. I'm, just I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. All right, Jaheem, what I'm telling you is. <laughs> don't disrespect Jersey said, like that. Jaheem's and he's from Newark. Jaheem's the man. And he's from and Newark. He's from and New and we'll pull up on you. He's from New Brunswick. Same as Newark. And shout no, out. Hey, yo, yo, yo. What's the difference? Cool out over there. You can't spell both without new. Cool out over there. All right. But... Um, I don't want you representing me if you don't want to represent me. That means you're not going to put your full effort into this. I don't the fuck out of here. Oh, speaking of, Max B is coming home. Indeed. Yep. We're here. According in, uh, to uh, French, French Montana's Montana. Instagram. It says April. April's around the corner. Max did, um, so French put, French and DJ Drama put the album out and there's a, there's a, a phone call from Max on yeah. there and a, and a record on there from Max. And um, he put, you know, kind of like did a video. I'm saying it? Yeah. Um, performing the song or rapping to the song, I should say. But yeah, I'd be glad. I, I would love it if Max came home, man. So okay. I hope that is happening and I'm looking forward. I know Max going to get right to it. No, I know that. Music is no, definitely going to drop. Yeah, he's going to get right to it. But that's for sure. Is that the end of the commentary? <laughs> 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 it's good it can be that, 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 that. Little, little guys <laughs> I ain't fucking with you bro I'm not fucking Look at guys What yeah, I'm nope. a potter We pod You no. right Yo, you In right. 2023 so I'm not playing no more you right. I'm not playing no more <laughs> look, look, Don't look at me We then. here to pod <laughs> Don't look at me <laughs> Don't look at you I wasn't even looking at you You looked at me like seven times I, But I asked uh, Yeah Cause I'm asking the question Was that the end of the commentary From everyone in the room Indeed Hmm 
<laughs> Why you got something to add? Listen, I'm a civilian. <laughs> I'm, I, I am a civilian, so it's none of my business. I'm happy that another incarcerated brother is coming home. Where's, where's yeah, we Jill go. when you need her? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sleepers. Hey, anyway, uh, <laughs> no, nah, we got three. Three of our teams are in the playoffs this oh, year. Shit. I ain't gonna lie, I might rattle the few of you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't talking about, I'm talking about me now. I'm talking about me. I might send a few niggas up. <laughs> Wait, when I can, what's today? Tuesday? I can come on for the Friday? No, no, no. We ain't got to. Wait, right Don't get now. me started. Wait, right now? <laughs> Let me tell I you. I can stay here. Let me tell you about Pookie. <laughs> <laughs> you think you know how the drugs is Yo, getting around in the town. You get mad when niggas start talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ish, I'm not getting in the car. How about it? There you go. Max was gone for a long time. How long is it? He was in there for 12 20, years. 12, 13. No, wait, no they. You got about. Old, oh, no, you got more than 12 years. Oh, nine? No, he got sentenced. No, he got, no, he got 75. He got I'm 75. About the time and then he, he gave some of the back, after right? this, Yeah, after the 75, he, he signed a plea deal. I, I was trying to find out how that happens after you. But uh, apparently, you, you can do that. I'll wait till WAC 100 <laughs> lets me know what's going on. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> All you got to do is wait for WAC. <laughs> WAC going to tell you. Hey, I got the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> got the paperwork on this nigga. I'll be like, who's that nigga? But wait, he told <laughs> I don't even be knowing. All right, shout out to Max B. I just yeah. don't want to deliver no yep. information. All right, we out of here. Nah, I don't we out of here, man. Shout out to Max B. One day, I'm going to get y'all to pod. I, I, I'm, I'm going to get, get you niggas to pod. I'm pod. I ain't been back over to the Holiday Inn since they booked Max, Max B. It, it ain't even that used high. to be my spot. They was on your ass, too. What? Who? The Holiday Inn? No. Who the Holiday Inn? Max B people's? Mm -hmm. For what? That freestyle, for that line. Dead in the Holiday Inn, like that for Max P. Max B, they was upset. I remember that. Why? Oh, because he was in his case. He was yeah, fighting his case. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they should have been mad. That was a stupid thing to say. Come on, Joe Budden. That was dumb. I used to be dumb, man. That was dumb. A nigga fighting the case, you could drop a little line. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. But Max is gang. I mean, not gang. Yep. Now. I don't even know how to kill it. I don't even know. Man, free the boss dog, man. Free the boss dog. Oh, my God. What the fuck Joe talking about, man? Free him, free Ish, free everybody that ever spent the day behind <laughs> bars. Ish was in there panicking. Get me out. Yo, Harry, too. And wait, Harry. Wait, now that we mention it, how do you get out so fast? You know how. I had a couple hours. You know how. He told on niggas. What the fuck you talking about? He told. <laughs> I'm playing. Yo, I'm, I, would, I wouldn't even do that. You I'm told. joking, bro. I'm joking. I'm what? Not. Just say it. Own that shit. <laughs> Own it. I did. <laughs> I, paid, I paid every dollar. Okay. Look, Toy is telling me that Kaleidoscope is not the mental mind fuck that she thought it was. All right, it, great. It was it's not. not at all. Not at all. Oh. It was oh, um, Usual Suspect, but... Uh, the TV the, show? First of all... Yeah. It, huh. It was, it was the same plot. Don't do that. Did though. you watch it in chronological order? Because you're no, still, apparently there's, there's no like a chronological, there is no chronological order. order. No, there yeah. is a chron yes, there is a chronological order. Well, Why? there is, there is, there is, but, but they it, they randomize it. Yeah, Netflix will randomize it, but it tells you like each each episode is labeled a color, so it'll say like the pink episode, and then it'll tell you when it occurs. This occurred six months before the heist, so the events of this episode. Then the next episode might be. Three days after the heist. Niggas promoted it totally different. I was about That's to say, this is too so much fucking work to watch a guy No, 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 no. You don't, that. you don't do anything. Okay. Like, when you hit play, Netflix randomizes it. Ah. So, so what they said was, but there is a, if a, you change the order in which you watch it, it changes the whole entire outcome of the and show. And that's how it they does it. No, it don't. That's what everybody's It's literally saying. one movie. That's how they've been marketing it. So look, you take a movie and you break up certain scenes of the movie or sections of the movie. It's Pulp Fiction and Usual Suspects combined. Yeah, like this wasn't okay. that. Like, he is disrespectful. Why? He disrespected you. He did it suspect, the first time right? with Usual Suspects. He did. And now he's doing it to Pulp Fiction. <laughs> I'm just telling you what the, the, the concepts they stole to make this content. See, like, look, I got the list here because I'm going to watch it over in this order just to see it in complete chronological. Violet is 24 years before the heist. Green is seven years before the heist. Yellow is six weeks before the heist. Orange is three weeks before the heist. Blue is five days before the heist. White is the actual heist. Red is the morning after, and pink is six months after. What color? So, what color is power off? <laughs> <laughs> what, black. Co what color black. is? What color is? That's black. Ne yes, Netflix. I actually am done watching. I'm, I'm, I'm not. So That'll be the first it. time I answer. Nah, I'm not watching no more. I'm watching this shit, and then everything. Everybody kept saying, "Yo, you gotta make sure you watch the white episode, which is the actual heist. Watch it last." 
And that's what Netflix will do. It'll randomize all the other ones and make that one last. Yeah. Well, well, you and your football team got a lot of time to watch things. True. Yeah. <laughs> Sundays are wide open now, buddy. Well, good thing TV is back. I can watch TV. No, address what we're saying about your football team. Steelers? <laughs> Steelers. They didn't Sorry. make it. They that's won on good. Sunday in a meaningless game. Yeah. They did. It wasn't meaningless. It turned out to be. It wasn't at the that's time. That's the definition of meaningless. It wasn't at the time. time one, man. Huh? All right, so we're going to talk about football now. <laughs> My team didn't make the no, playoffs, no, no. Wait, man. No, that was your cue to just mute up. Oh, yeah, I can't talk football no more. I'm See, done. We're going to talk yeah, about yeah. football now. It's over. <laughs> Clap it up for ISIS football run. <laughs> Steelers. Short, short clap. Short clap. Yeah, yeah, short, 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 oh, short clap. Uh, but, but George Pickens, can he pick it uh, next year? Najee. Parks, 90 seconds on Parks. Hey, man, we... we That's been my favorite thing to scream during podcast. I love it. We creep, we creep. I bet you creeped in. We crept in. We crept in. We beat y'all this they year. So, I mean, we don't got to talk, really. You don't. The Dolphins got in. We got in. I don't know what's going to happen. It depends Skyler on who's Skyler did plays. it. Skyler did it, sort of. Niggas in my tweets thought I put some respect on Sky. No. 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 Shout, shout out to Skyler. He did game. what he had no. to do, but no, he didn't do much. And here's a stat that I learned. Every team that mocked uh, Waddle by doing the Waddle is home. Mm. See, I follow the Instagram pages that show you the meaningless stats. <laughs> See, I like those, though. And then they showed you everybody doing a little <laughs> shit. Did, yeah, they, they, they home. Go did home. they, did they go show home. you the, the celebration that the Steelers did? No. I'm disgusted, bro. It's not as bad as what KC what did. Yes, it is. It's worse. I don't know what Casey did. Oh what no, happened? that was it bad. Is worse. That what was happened? really bad. I even, oh I did, no, that was bad. Why did I saw that? For the people that don't know, uh, they did a uh, CPR. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The Disgusting. And, 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 and yeah. The CPR. And and Hamlin's been discharged. Uh, he's been discharged. Yes. Sent back to Buffalo. Round of applause for that. Yo, y'all don't deserve to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was bad. Straight up, you don't deserve to play. And homeboy from the Packers pushing the medical dude. Uh, Quay, who played for George last year, linebacker. He pushed the, Cl the huh? Not my man. He was a first round. He's a he's a stud. Clay Matthews? No, Quay. Quay. Oh, Quay. okay. I don't know. He was a Georgia linebacker last year. He plays for the Packers. How big of a stud? <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> See, but you were saying. <laughs> See, uh, someone got injured on the uh, on the field, and Detroit's medical team came up and kind of. Pushed him out the way to get to the injured player, and dude pushed him back from behind. Got ejected immediately. Oh, and that was the meme wow. of dude walking down the tunnel crying and shit. Come on, come on, man. Oh, yeah. It's a bad bit. Come, come on. Here. This week, those, Aaron, those two things. Yeah, that was disgusting. Aaron Rodgers is another one. He's another one. But we're not on that. We're on our playoff teams Dolphins, Dallas, G Men. Prediction? Uh, it depends on who plays. It depends on who plays. Oh, because you don't know who might play for your team. We don't. Y'all got, no got Buffalo, right? Yeah, we got Buffalo, yeah, which we played. We beat, we beat once. That's, that's, we had a very good game the good, second time, but I don't know if Tua's going to play. I don't know if he should play. If he does play, I give us a fighting chance. If he don't? If he don't play, I don't like our chance. Got it. 90 seconds on Antoine. You should go. My team got a better record than you. I don't think I should go. My <laughs> team has the better chance of winning their playoff matchup. You don't believe that? I one hundred percent believe it. I believe, I'm willing to bet I believe it. it. I believe it too. I'm willing to bet anything on it. <sighs> you got to face it. This is a podcast. The so Dallas Cowboys played like the Dallas Cowboys. I say it every single week. Mm -hmm. Contingent upon who we play, mm -hmm. that determines what level of productivity you get. We played to team that's subpar. We played. I don't sub even care about that performance. We played subpar. We have to play right. Tampa Bay. You do pop. Why? He lost a mad bread. <laughs> <laughs> he lost a mad bread. Are you better than the Cowboys? That was good for you. It was good for you then. So, um, I don't see how you feel that you guys have a way better chance of I'm beating. playing Kirk Cousins. That's and, why. And, and you're playing Tom Brady. And you're playing Je Jefferson. Oh, stop and, it. And you're playing Dalvin Cook. Stop, 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 oh, it, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Listen. Come on, Ish. Stop it. Pop, you know the line? Yes, yeah, three. For Giants? No, no, Giants, the Vikings. Vikings, they're home. Vikings. No, I'm saying for the Giants game, it's three. Plus three. Which means it's basically. Which means it's, it's even. That Vegas think we might go in. What's the line on the Dallas game? Dallas minus three. Three. Both games are three. three. Same. Hmm. So it's the same. Dallas I, minus three. I asked you this weeks ago, weeks ago, before I knew that this was y'all matchup. I would not want to play Tom Brady. I, mean, I wouldn't either. It's Tom Brady. He's the biggest winner in the history of the NFL. So anything can happen. What I'm saying is. Um, but I'm not more scared of the Vikings than I would be of Tom Brady. I think that if our not defensive either. line is healthy, 
we we whip their ass. And y'all two and a half now. I don't even think it's close if our defensive line comes to play healthy. Because we kind of beat up. Who's home in that game? Dallas. We are. Tampa. Wait, no, no. Tampa. Yeah, Tampa. Tampa's yeah, home. Yeah, Tampa's they, home. They, they won their division. Yeah, they won their division. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but ain't nothing. I mean, I do think y'all a better team. Yeah, it ain't but great. You act like we got to go to Green Bay or New England in the middle of the I winter. I got Tampa, the Dolphins nigga, losing, but in a tough one. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. I do have the Dolphins losing a tough one. If Tua don't play, it ain't tough. I have Ark. Yeah, I don't know y'all, that. Y'all nine if and a half. If Tua don't points. play, they're getting blown out. I'm not going to say that. Yeah, they got them at nine and a half. Damn. If Tua don't play, they're getting oh, blown we, out. I, I might bet that, though. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Depending on who that plays, though. Because even, even if Teddy plays, I'm... And can actually stay in the game, I think they'll make it interesting. Parks, Teddy Pendergrass could play. <laughs> if fucking Tua don't play, y'all niggas is getting blown out the gym. <laughs> See, I'll tell the truth. I can't wait till Tuesday. When Dallas play like shit, we play like shit. <laughs> I, I don't come in here and be pampering. Yo, dog, if Tua don't play, y'all getting blown out. You know, the first thing I thought when the matchups was released, I want to sit next to him while the, while the game is on. <laughs> I want to hear his every thought, dog, see his facial Tom expressions. Tom Brady is Tom Brady. I'm not discounting that. He but, ain't the only one on that him. team. If Dallas don't show up looking like the Dallas that you know them to we be. We getting blown are, out the gym. Yeah, but you got smoke coming from your head. I again. will definitely do that. I had smoke. Okay. Nigga, every game, win or lose, Dallas frustrates you. We, every game. I'm lying. Every we, game, win or we lose, we frustrate. Smacked, I'm going to just order a hookah. <laughs> like, we ain't even supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah, well, we ain't supposed to be here. <laughs> but, listen, I was outside when... As a wild card team, oh, man, I, was, I was there. And you'd be like, we well, if we could just beat no that team, card. then the next one, if you could just beat that one, and then you get to a team where the matchup is like, I, 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 like, I don't have faith in the Giants at all, but I'm riding this until you send them home. They don't have any receivers. They did this with Danny Dimes. They did this with Danny they're Dimes. About to, they're about to extend him, too. They, Coach of the year, the ball for me. They're about to excite. For me. You, I told you he was going to make him look decent. There's, there's some other coaches that are in contention for that. I'm, I'm not, but it's not a, a rap. The ball coach of the year for me. I think he should be, yeah. I think he should be. Listen, I was thinking we should watch, the, we should damn near live stream and watch the games together. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Seriously. That's going to be so lit. I'm, I'm with it. it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Who your team, man? Caribbean what? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Look, Why he, you looking at me, fam? Uh, I'm done with you, y'all. I'm done. You act like I said it's the Jamaican enough. bobsled team or something. <laughs> <And> <laughs> cool running. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tried to get us out of there before. Yeah, why you said that? <laughs> before Uncle Ish comes in. Well, yeah, that's yeah. a real team. <laughs> <though. It's> cool <laughs> running. Is there anything uh, else happening that team, we man. have to break right this second? Is there anything oh. else happening in real time that they need our opinions on? Anything we missed? <sighs> anything so. burning a hole in you guys' hearts that you have to share with your audience? Anybody? Anybody? Everybody? No? No? Mm-hmm. No? Nah, I don't see nothing else. Melissa, we not done with you on well, Patreon. Oh, yeah. We on your ass. Oh God, I know. <laughs> we on your ass on Patreon. I, <laughs> I know. Uh, well, yo, y'all have to be stopped. <laughs> oh no, we got a bunch more. I, on know, the way. I, I can tell. There's a I bunch. There's just, a bunch more on the way. I'm working on it too, man. Y'all not gonna beat me to the punch. Yeah, we're trying to find. We're trying to find the right outro song. The right vibe. Yo, for the fans out there, we couldn't do none of this without y'all. None of this is possible without you guys. Thank you. Eight years and running, no ads, new hosts, old hosts, same result. This time is for the money. And flip, you know this? This time we really going crazy out here. Damn, I feel like you on game. This time is for Reddit. (laughs) He said no. Yo, when this came on, Teddy Riley eyes popped out of his head. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. I'm going to watch that again, just because y'all said so. Nah, this might be like remember I, the time. I tried not so to watch shit, it, it was crazy. <laughs> hey, huh? Yeah, y'all know the vibes. Something light, something light. Hey, the flip just off in the day. You my man, yo. Mm. Don't never let the internet <laughs> tell you you're not my man. You my man. Listen here, and it go. Oh. Know why baby faces the man? This nigga singing this verse right here. I don't know one other song he on. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> nigga from the deal. One of them niggas in the deal. <laughs> <laughs> nigga from the deal. Roscoe. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because in the video he tried to outshine Babyface, but then we never heard from him again. Whoa. Let me yell out there in the audience. It go. Yeah! Yeah, put that phone down, sing along! It goes! 
All right, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Till the next time, I bid you. It. Oh wait, what? Wait, whoa. <laughs> what happened? That's a very interesting what? blend for you to oh. play right now. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they fucked me. Hold up. All right, there we go. Until saying. next time, we bid you adieu, farewell, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista, au revoir. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> On two occasions. That's day and night. I got the afternoons to myself. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I think about you in the fucking afternoon, bitch. I'm with my niggas. <laughs> Yo, peace, love, health, wealth, blessings, prosperity, all that good stuff, man. Y'all hold it down. Oh, same time. Same time, same place. You know about this time Flip fall asleep. <laughs> you know Flip sleep over there. <laughs> Look, that nigga is tired. Fat, fat niggas get sleepy around 5 o'clock. It's cool, though. It was a vibe. It was a vibe. I'm up. You gonna let that girl violate you, too? Talking about six mics? It was that. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, 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 no. That? That's why I need Flip around. <laughs> Yo, after the next hook, we out of here, man. Parks is going home to say a prayer, hoping Tua, Dan Marino, and everybody else come out everybody, that locker room. Yeah, come on, man. Hey! Wherever you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to watch that Teddy Riley shit again. <laughs> I might have to watch Fab Jadakiss again, too. <laughs> I go for bro. That never happened. If I won't be with you. Are you going to promote this part? Melissa? Duh. Hey. hey. <laughs> you hear that, Reddit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this was fun. New job You've done. You've never heard of Joe Budden? JBP, JBP, why would you be without the JBP? 